I'm so excited. How you doing? I'm okay. Just okay. I'm working on a photo. Photo. It's the last photo I'm doing on. I inherited some uh, photographs of um, a cousin I found. She doesn't know who anybody is. And, I'm, and I said, I'm going to clean them all up. And she mailed them to me. Just got them yesterday. So I've been working on them. So right now I'm on some photos from World War One. Very exciting. I absolutely adore doing this. You know how I like photos. But do you have some sort of filter on on your screen? Me? I see like all these dots. This grid of dots in front of you. On my screen? No, I don't see it. I don't oh, see Jim's. it. Jim looks weird because he's got his background in the back. I guess I could turn off the background. You can uh, keep it on if you want, oh. but it's got this light on you. You said, oh. I, have, I have something on mine, Carl? Oh, no. Weird. What? Okay. Okay. Well, I, cl I clicked on your screen and the grid went away and now it's covering Jim. Yeah. Okay. Jim's got a Jim weird. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, you're basically, fine. Basically, it's it's Carl's software. basically having the light in real life behind me there uh, kind of does uh, weird things. Uh, huh. But uh, I guess as soon as I've finished uh, serving myself dinner, I'll turn off the kitchen light. <laughs> Well, you're you're fine. This is Carl. It sounds like uh, I noticed stuff. my Zoom software updated itself right when I launched it. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Depending on where I stick my head, if I stick my head directly in front of the light, that's okay. But if it's sort of a little off to the side, then yeah, then it starts doing weird things. Yeah, like that. <laughs> Sounds good. How you doing, Jim? What's going on up there? Oh, well, let's see. It was yeah, uh, snow. Yeah. So um, I did a little bit of cross country skiing in the uh, city park. Oh, neat. And, and um, but tomorrow it's supposed to get above zero. So I guess I'll won't be doing that until we get uh, cooling down again and uh, and some snow. Wait, uh, is that is that warmer? To be getting up to a zero, or is that uh, getting colder? Uh, uh, getting a uh, getting above zero centigrade. Is that warmer? So, so snow and ice starts to melt. Oh, I see. <laughs> yes. I don't know these things because we don't do those things here. Yeah, that's that's for cartoons or something. I don't know. Yeah, don't know weirdly places. Uh, you do. You don't th do things involving snow and ice. <laughs> no, we rarely even have rain. So I, I this is just like, okay, yeah. if you say so. No, but, I don't. I wouldn't even know what to do. I would die in uh, in those kind of situations. Yeah, let's see. I wouldn't what, know what, what to do with the. Yeah, yeah. Let's. I wouldn't know yeah, what to for the uh, for uh, for getting a feel for centigrade. I uh, ran across the thing. Um, 30s hot, 20s nice, 10 is cool, zero is ice. <laughs> Oh, that's a, that's a good way of looking at it. Yeah. <laughs> Carl, you have rain and wetness over there too? Uh, Not today. Hmm. Um, I've been having a conversation with Kenny Biddle and uh, CFI and uh, he's he's all pumped about coming out there. You're going to be getting cool. um, Eric Schaefer probably in June for the Secular Student Alliance, and probably he'll come to see you, your group over there uh, in June, but we're hoping to get Kenny there earlier. That's the plan. Cool. I'm planning on making him go all over the United States. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure why I'm in charge, but it seems to be I'm just doing it. I don't know. You're you're the one that has the gu has gumption to actually get things done. Well, yeah. I, we're recording this, so be careful now. <laughs> I, yeah. I, don't I, wanna, I said no. nothing about anyone else. I told them. They said, "Well, how are we going to pay for this?" And I said, "I do not know, but all I know is that you're going to find the way of paying for this." 
So each group will probably help out a little bit and you will figure it out. That's not my purview. My purview is to make this happen. So let's get this to happen. All right. So by this day, <laughs> it's just been really weird. So hi, Robert. Hello. What what are we talking about making it oh, happen? I was saying Kenny Biddle is going to go on the on tour. So so I say. Okay. <laughs> that's what we that's what we were laughing about. Is that I that I'm saying we're do this is what we're going to do. Uh, doesn't he have other responsibilities now? Yeah, that's part of his responsibilities to be out and about. Okay. Working for the CFI, promoting yeah. the CFI. But he's an investigator. Right. I don't know and, if investigators and that's part of the way I think we're going to pay mm. for this is by saying he's going to go and do some investigations in some areas and take the group, take a group with him, you know, take them out with him as well. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, Carl, if you can think of something out there that might be interested to, to go see or do or something he can investigate that would be really interesting and much more likely to happen so okay. look for something odd or weird that hasn't already really been done gee whenever i see that some there's somebody named troy i i wonder Hi, if that, whenever i see some, as, that there's somebody named troy i wonder if that person has a friend named helen <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> Well, Helen and Troy. February. Yeah. That might be. It's Troy's birthday. Happy birthday, Troy. Thank you. Happy and birthday. And it's Groundhog's Day, too. And you know what? We've got, over and over and over. We've got a whole bunch of people whose birthdays today. I don't know who's going to show up. It's also really? Cindy's birthday. Mike oh. Wolf's got a birthday. Uh, today is George's birthday, Peggy's dog's birthday. I don't know if he's coming. <laughs> <laughs> does, does she really does she really know that or does she do what i do with the cats whenever we adopt them it's their birthday okay we have somebody who's good about to join us named bill Nyden. anybody know him bill. what's the last name n-y-d-e-n no no okay well okay Inter interrogate <laughs> it's the bard yeah might be interesting let's find out yeah. We can all interrogate him. Mm -hmm. Bill Nyden Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Bill. Uh, hi, I got a degree in theater at Humboldt, specializing in Shakespeare. Yeah. Oh, okay. Are you so you're from Humboldt? Well, I'm in Sacramento at the moment. Oh, fantastic. How'd you find out about our trivia game? Uh, Robin Welch. Oh, she's put you up to it, huh? Yep. Oh, yeah, we love Robin. She's my little sister. She sort of. She's two days younger than I am. I know her well. Sounds great. Hi, Carolyn. Are you here? Caspian? Susan. Hi. Hello. Can How are you doing can over I... there? Susan, can I ask a favor of you? Sure. Over your right shoulder, um, I guess that curtain has a fold in it, and that fold runs right through my head. So if you can just flatten that out. <laughs> yeah, sure. It got caught in there. It was kind of bugging me, too. Oh, uh, yay. Okay. I think anybody who's well, got their, their that face. Was, uh, I thought that that was uh, 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 a virtual background. No. Shows you what I know. <laughs> The kid, so that the cat. statue is real. Jim, what are you doing? It looks like you're peeing in the water back there. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> that was his like crazy. he had his back to us and he's like standing and there's a lake right there. Look. <laughs> Look at it. Turn around. Yeah. <laughs> Jim, that looks a little weird. Oh, and I see the Loch Ness Monster emerging from the middle right, of the There's water. a Loch Ness Monster yeah. coming out of the... Or Ooh, something like no, that. Cananaskis Leaf Monster. <laughs> Hi, Alan. I hope you guys like puns tonight. Oh, good. I like puns. Hi, James. Oh, oh well, that's oh. good. That's excellent. That makes me feel a little <laughs> wait, bit better. Wait, wait, wait. We have a new person here, and I don't want to scare them. So no. Yeah. Too late. I'm a punster. No puns. No puns tonight. Just because of the new person. Yeah, just no, no, only some like is his is his the new person's name Avi? No, his name is Bill. 
I'm Bill. There's Bill right there. Well, he's not moving. As in Bill Shakespeare. <laughs> William Shakespeare. Oh, that guy who didn't write any of the Shakespearean oh, stuff, Avi. according to somebody I know. You're not kidding about Avi. Here comes Avi. He doesn't want to be a two-headed monster tonight, so we're in we're in separate rooms. Oh, he's but there he, in town. He is. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes, he's wow. here for a couple of weeks. Oh, I remember you. Now that guy flies all the time. Is he done with his tour in in um, Germany? No, no. He's uh, they he and Sarah traveled around a little bit, and then they uh, they both flew in uh, for a couple of weeks, and then next week they'll go their separate ways, and he'll go back. Hello, hey, hey Avi. So, Avi, how are Hi, your Avi. Arms? little sprout? Yep. How are your arms? I'm tired. I've been flying so much that it's yes. flapping so much. You know, that's, that's what it was he, coming at. Hi, he Kyle. It up. I like that. Yes. The puns have started. Yeah. Oh, good to God. Hold on. I got one photo I was working on. I just <laughs> want to put this in here so I can say I'm done. Anyway. The puns have started. Yeah. It's not a it's not a pun. It's like the second joke. Yeah. I just <laughs> flew in from Chicago and boy are my arms tired. Yes. The, the I, second I heard, joke? In, I heard that in the cradle, I'm the sure. The second joke? Or the second joke you've ever heard. Uh, the second, second joke, joke ever. Second joke made. I mean yeah. the first the first one is why did the chicken cross the road? I don't That's know. Typical why ordering, did the chicken yeah. Cross the road. I don't know. Colonel Sanders. I I, did they have that joke about flying before there was actually human flight? Somehow I doubt that. <laughs> Probably they, not. They were, they were prescient. Was, people wouldn't say I flew in from. I thought I, humor I, began with Abbott and Costello. <laughs> <laughs> you call that humor? I, I call that just frustration. I By the way, a... um, so I was visiting what well, my sister and I were, were in Edinburgh. Um, Oh man, I'm so jealous. Uh, it's so beautiful. Um but it's freezing though. Yeah. Um <laughs> so um we one of the things that we did is um I can't remember if it was Hollywood um um had the abbey or one of the either Hollywood had the abbey or the castle had the abbey. I don't is remember. it right next to there's a there's an abbey that's burned down kind of right next to Hollywood? Yeah, that's yeah, it's it's yeah, it's, it's amazing. It's, it's kind of in ruins, but yeah. Um, but, uh, I got me thinking like, um, there's, uh, there's an Abbey there and there's like Westminster Abbey. And so I was wondering, does like Westminster Abbey have, have an Abbot or maybe a Costello? It used to. That was a joke, right? That, that was, uh, yeah, that was supposed that, to be That joke. was so bad. <laughs> that was I beyond it. bad. All the Italians that had the Costello. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so I was going to say there's one thing about the questions that I'm doing tonight. Unfortunately, I couldn't get around it. I tried. There was no way. They're all multiple choice. What? <laughs> yeah. Are you doing a category tonight, huh? I am doing a category tonight, yeah. Okay, I thought I was. Well, that'll be good. Troy's got one. You've got one. Well, is that one of our choices? Oh, no. <laughs> well, it could be, I guess. Bill Does has, it your uh, doesn't he? Pick Bill one. has uh, uh, uh has uh, Robin warned you about trivia? <laughs> <laughs> what we're like and uh, how it's how it's social and trivia, but well she yeah, she said that this was a social social event with with trivia okay good so you know. most of the conversation is trivial anyway <laughs> you know, that's true <laughs> that's true hi janine how's how you feeling i've been watching you well i've been looking at the pictures of you working i you should be exhausted i still don't have a kitchen sink and really? so i've gone four days without why don't you kitchen have a sink? sink? So you brought everything but the kitchen sink. <laughs> yeah. I've been yeah, watching so, that you're working outside. Aren't you working outside? Well, the kitchen sink requires John. 
So tonight he reworked the plumbing under the sink so that we could easily get in to fix it and get a snake down it. And he didn't check to see how well the snake worked before he brought it in. And so he did get the plumbing all revamped. And then we put the snake down and I don't know whether it went down or not. And now he's out fixing the snake and we'll try again. Oh my gosh, that's that's stressful. Uh, it sounds three like three or four days of dirty dishes sitting in the kitchen. So the snake got constricted. Oh, something like that. Yeah, that's nowhere near my record, Janine. <laughs> the snake got. Oh my God, the buds today. Oh God. Oh, now, you what's guys. What's wrong with Kevin? Why is he on a weird phone screen? Where are you at? Oh boy. Where is it with Billy Joel? Are you with Billy Joel? We can't hear you, Kevin. Look at that. He's he's performing or he's going to photograph. He's going to do something there. I don't know who he's seeing. He has it uh, muted, which is good. Otherwise, yeah, I bet that's loud. Music. It's probably pretty loud. Oh, man, so, look at him. So I've been called in for the weekend this week to they at one of the high big high schools here on the North Shore <laughs> having a big jazz uh, their their annual jazz festival, and so I'm going to come in and working on the pianos a little bit. And I, they want me to come in. They wanted me to come in on like Sunday and just sort of hang around in case the the guys in the band wanted some attention so i said okay i'll sit around and, and make these guys in the band happy so i i asked a sign who's the band it's winton marcellus and the and the lincoln the lincoln center jazz ensemble couldn't That's believe cool. it oh and you're forced to hang out wow. with them. how horrible well, i'm gonna be forced to hang out and watch these guys <laughs> awesome. oh that's really great alan kevin yeah. what's going on over there can you type it since you can't speak hi jane Hi. Hi, Jane. I haven't seen you in ages. I, it's awful. It's awful. Why? <laughs> hmm. Then we should get together and, and have, the, have the awful be together. Yeah, let's get together and talk. Are you guys near each other? Yeah, we are. An hour. I bet she has Close a kitchen. Enough. Yes. Hey, Janine, you could take your dishes to Jane's. I was saying that. Does Jane's sink work? <laughs> yeah, does your sink work, Jane? Yeah, it I does. Don't... Are you having sink problems? Jane? I would like to bring all my dirty dishes to your house. <laughs> oh, She's got no. four days of dirty For dishes. like four days. Okay. <laughs> and I told John he wasn't supposed to cook until he got the sink fixed, but uh -oh. he didn't obey me. Oh, so, no. so so you do have indoor plumbing though. <laughs> I live in a log cabin. No. <laughs> she has she has there is a I believe I remember seeing a um outdoor privy. Yeah. I have a pump. Off the grid. She's got it she's got a little of everything there. I do. And you don't have a bathtub, right? It's but, but I have John. I have right. John. And John fixes everything in a way. Yeah, he <laughs> he's very handy. It's so cold. Are your pipes frozen? No, he built those so that when you turn them off and disconnect, he came from Eastern Montana. Yeah. Uh, do you get do you get that cold there? No. Do you get particularly cold? Yeah. No, but if you if you plummet for eastern Montana and it's just western Oregon, your mm -hmm. pipes don't freeze. Let's see, it's 39 degrees here. It just yeah. feels so cold. <laughs> yeah, it's been like my big problem is I have to get up right. in the morning and go out and take unfrozen water to the chickens. Oh Aww. because Aww. everything needs to be disconnected and they need water. 39 yeah. degrees. That's hot. Holy. Yeah. Man. No, it's warmed up a lot. We were it's hot. hot. We it's were. Here. Wow. Hey, we got rain tomorrow. I'm saying I'm saying it's 39 degrees Celsius. I know Celsius. what you mean, Fahrenheit. I know. It'd be awful cold if it was Kelvin. 
<laughs> that's true. Oh, it's got, we've got rain for the next few days. That's great. What is it in hogs? We're going to warm up and be rainy. So I was trying to finish all the brush clearing today. But we had our first Master Gardener class today. So child of eating all my food here. All right. That's what kids are for. There's Carolyn and her cat. I like that. Where's the kitty? Oh, there's a kitty. Oh, yeah. She's it yes. looks like she's out in the forest, so it's a wild kitty. <laughs> she's wild. <laughs> I wanted to give a special thank you to Carolyn for helping me the last time we were on Zoom. Oh, you remember? Yeah. Oh, you guys did a workshop. Oh, the workshop. The workshop. Yeah, I've got another workshop coming up here, you guys. Don't be shy. Saturday. I wanted to say, I wanted to say, Susan, that I really intended to try to come on Saturday and then it just didn't work out for me. Uh, So, when is your next one? Saturday this coming saturday it's the first it's and it's the first one i'm trying to do a whole bunch of the first lesson and then then i'll start introducing the second lesson and that way people can come who've already been to the others but i i'm trying to get a whole bunch of people to go to the first one so oh. you're going to repeat the first one this week mm-hmm. okay the one what carolyn was there let's see who's been to it carolyn vincent i've been Kyle. With- Kyle. Kyle, no. Yeah. The the Kyle lives there. The aliens, the alien abduction. Adrian's been to one. Here comes Ron. Um, <clears throat> I can't come on Saturday. I would no. like to, but you got Angela's you. coming up with her mother and sister to talk about the wedding. Oh, so we're gonna do wedding planning on Saturday. Okay, I will. I'll catch you. Hi, hi, Jamie. You know your hey, first morning. Yep. Oh, okay. How is how That's is good. tomorrow, Jamie? Tomorrow's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. But okay. over the last over the last week, it's been so polluted and smoky here. All of Southeast Asia has been the pollution is horrible. But um, it's all caused, caused by agricultural burnoff in Burma and Cambodia, and by the Chinese. The Chinese in the last few years bought large tracts of land, and to prepare land. They're burning all the land all throughout Asia now. <clears throat> so the pollution was terrible. People don't realize, in the West, people don't realize that the Chinese are buying so much land um, all throughout Asia and burning it to prepare. They don't care, burning it to prepare for the next crop. But today, finally, the wind changed. And this is the first cleaner we've had now in two weeks, finally. But it's been, it's been awful. Right. Some, yeah. Summer is the rainy season, so... Uh... So now things are dry enough to burn burn things down. Yeah, from December until April is the burning season. But normally it doesn't affect that much because there were small local farms. Um, and so the air pollution wasn't bad. But now, since most of the farms are Chinese conglomerates, they are mass burning because it's profitable and it's cheap. And the Chinese don't care about you know, the wind directions or the pollution. So a lot of Asia has become heavily smoky and polluted now. Hmm. Kind of sucks. Did you see the uh, Washington Post is just reporting that China they found a a, a spy balloon, a, balloon. A, a spy balloon from China over Montana. Yeah, <laughs> they did. What? 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 <laughs> you know, Montana. They, they aren't that concerned why about bother, it. Why would you bother with the spy balloon uh, rather than? I uh, don't. Uh, I was satellites. That. Well, would why would you why would you bother with Montana? <laughs> because you can't control where the balloons go that well. Yeah. Cass? Satellites are expensive and balloons get shot down or drones get shot down, sorry. Yeah. Probably because probably because it borders Canada. they Chinese are very angry with Canada right now. Ooh, what'd you do, Vincent? Why? Uh, uh, it has something to do with the contract of the uh, 5G technology, as well as uh, a prisoner exchange. Oh, yeah, the, that's the Hawaii. What is the, what's the company, that Chinese company, the 5G the Hua- company? The Huawei, the, yeah, yeah the company right. and the... And the higher S, whatever her name is, whatever she was. Well, that that's been a few yeah. years. Ago. Yeah, yeah, but that's all. 
One of my okay. Ollie classes, we have a professor who's from China and she was tell telling us about how China is basically leasing ports of different countries and stuff. So they're basically, so these smaller countries are indebted to China and that's why they're holding more political sway than they normally would. Mm. Like we were in Sri Lanka and exactly that, outside of Colombo along the coast, the Chinese are building this huge port and no Sri Lankans are allowed in the vicinity. They're only bringing in Chinese and it's a secret, basically a port facility, exactly that. Yeah. Yeah, it's, in the West, people, people don't realize. We have a, a, a Burmese gardener and he told us the other day, he fled from Myanmar. They told us really what's going on with the coup that's happening in Myanmar. The truth, what he said, what's been happening is the Chinese have been um, buying all the, the natural resources of Myanmar. So the Chinese are stripping Myanmar of gems, rare earth materials, copper mining gems. Um, so what they've done is they had an agreement with the Ku government in order to go and pay the Myanmar government to trash their land, to strip the land of natural resources and use the native population as basically a slave labor. So in this fellow's neighbor, in his neighborhood, the area were farms. They stripped, the coup took over, they stripping land of farms and converting it to copper mines and using the local population as miners. So the entire coup is entirely economic. It's caused by the Chinese stripping the land. That's what it's caused by. Wow. People don't realize what's going on. Oh, I, I, I can barely keep up what's going on over here in America, let alone. Yeah, the Chinese people tell us. Yeah, people realize the influence of the Chinese in yeah. the world. Well, and, and what companies they're buying into too, and it's including media. So um, a lot of movies that we think over here are just, you know, oh, yay, movies. But um, when they're part owned by Chinese, um, I don't know, there's some influence going on. Hmm. Hi, Ron. Yeah, people we have the whole Steiner family here almost. Oh, what part of the world are you in, Avi? I am in my parents' house. Oh, you did finally get over there. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you had made it back yet. Okay. He's he's in a different room than Alan, so I'm going to put him on a different team than Alan. So that'll be good. Hi, Romero. Hi, Zeke. Hello. Whoever just squeaked, hello to that squeaker. Hey, Bill, do you know how to use... um? uh breakout rooms and stuff like that have you ever used those before never have okay so what will happen in a couple minutes is you're going to get a message that's going to appear on your screen it's going to say susan gerbic has invited you to whatever room number so you just click the button and then you're going to be in a room with about four or five people and that's going to be your team for the entire game and your first first task you guys are going to do is you're going to pick a team name People in your room will teach you how to do this. So you're going to come okay. up with a team name. We like puns. We like things that have something to do with what's going on in the world right now. And then I'm going to bring you back from your your um, breakout rooms. This is only like four or five minutes. But and the name ha the name has to have Wordle somewhere oh, in. No, it. no, 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 no. <laughs> Nowhere in there should the word Wordle be in there. But. One of the things people, when they come out of the breakout rooms, I, I'm going to force you to come out of the breakout room sometimes. Other times you might just leave your breakout room to come to this main screen. So when you, it, it'll say something on the far right hand side, make sure you don't click leave um, meeting. meeting, make sure you click leave room. So uh, if you, if you leave the meeting, you leave, come back, we'll let you back in, but Try to hit just return. And so you're going to be have no problem with them. Um, they'll help you get from one room. to. So you're just going to keep going back and forth to your room and back. So it's, it shouldn't be too hard. Here comes Gail. Here comes Christy. Wasn't Christy here a minute ago? So you're about to tell us to go to our room. <laughs> Very soon, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to ask you to go to your rooms. And that's the room you're going to be in for the whole game. I float um, each round. I will go and be part of the team where one of the people in your room will be actually running a trivia uh, category. So whoever's got Bill in their room, make sure you guys explain more in depth. Is Robin showing up tonight? 
Bill? Well, she got me here, so I, I was assuming she'd show up. But well, I maybe she won't. That's okay. You're welcome anyway. Don't just ignore that if she's not here. We'll we'll take care of you, right, guys? So, so Susan, I was if you're gonna let her introduce me. So we just introduced you. <laughs> Bill's Hi, a friend Bill. of Robin's. Hi, Bill. Hi. So Susan, if you're gonna be floating, don't you have to get behind either me or James? <laughs> Hi, Gail. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, yeah, that's how it works. Hi, everyone. Hi, Gail. Hi, Terry. Hi, Christy. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. Hi, hey, Vincent. Hi. Okay, so I'm about to create the rooms right now. So let's see. We've got Jamie's going to be running the first group. Okay. Uh, Jamie is up first. Let me find you on this little thing here so I can put you in room one. Okay, Jamie's room one. Troy is room two. This is Troy's first time running a category, so you guys know the rules. Extra nice. Yay, Troy. <laughs> yeah. Only we'll this see. time, then you we'll could see. then you could rip into Troy the the, the next time. That's right. You know, Troy, three. You know that guy standing behind you. I saw posts on Facebook about his ex from his ex-wife, <laughs> and she says he's a liar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Well, he's only right 40% of the time. So, yeah. Oh, the groundhog. <laughs> he just oh, makes I it just up. noticed him. Okay, <laughs> Gail's room five. Four is Mike Wolf, who's not here yet, but Mike Wolf will be here. So, yeah. if you're in room four, Mike Wolf will be here shortly. Hey, well, where's it, Ryan? Well I, well, I heard something about the groundhog died, uh, but, 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 but this was uh, somewhere in Quebec. <laughs> oh. So I'm not doing a category then tonight? Yeah, you are third. Third. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know how you do the thing with the groundhog, but it sounds like they did it wrong. <laughs> did they? If the groundhog died. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, they're Canada, <laughs> so they don't really do things right. Does that mean they're pregnant that or not pregnant? Test. You, you have to. You no have more to weather. Have a groundhog. What's groundhog day? Um. <clears throat> can't just have one groundhog and think he's going to live forever what a silly thing groundhog. everyone can be replaced yeah some of us can be he replaced has been about 14 times let's see so um so this is a cross so this is a cross quarter day i.e it's halfway between the winter solstice and the vernal equinox oh in bulk Halfway. Is that why they? Is that why they make this wake this poor groundhog up? <laughs> it, it is. It's the pagan first day of spring. So it's uh. So the thing about the six weeks, it's already six weeks till official spring anyway. Right. I yes. It's a good way to be right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, here comes here comes the birthday dog. <laughs> Oh, Peggy sharing her happy her birthday, birthday for, George. Uh, George. Happy birthday, George. Is George sleeping yeah. over there? Um, he went upstairs. I don't know why. I'm not going to ask. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he's a year old. He's a year old. He made it to a year, and I didn't kill him. And I think that's an accomplishment for both of us. Mm -hmm. It is. Yeah. What kind is he? He's a corgi. Oh. <laughs> Come here. Come here. No, he oh. won't. So yeah. now that uh, so that so so now that Queen Liz is dead, does uh, did all the corgis get given away? They, went um, they got sent to a, a home. It was one of the family. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think they did go to the family. Are, are yeah, we I'm celebrating? Sure are we celebrating dogs this week? Because Charlie's birthday was two days ago. Well, yeah, we can have Charlie's birthday. birthday too. Ah, look at look at. Is that Charlie? Ah, Alan. Uh, Alan. Not if you can see it, that's Charlie. Alan, Alan, that's an ugly damn Alan, dog. Alan! Alan! Ow! Alan! 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 Oh, Alan. Oh, is that what it's like at your house? Okay, here we go. I'm gonna open up the rooms. So how much so how much ground would a groundhog hog if a groundhog could hog ground? Oh, could you could you couldn't hear you could you hear that? Yes. yes, I yeah. heard it. Okay, all right, wait. I got, I got now. I got to see how to get it off here. Hold on. Let's see where I'm going to put Karen. Okay. 
here and there. Oh, Mono's here. Mono, Mono. Hey, Mono. I'll put you there. All right, go to your rooms. Hi, Mono. Hi, Susan. Okay. I just I just sent people to the rooms right now. So let's uh, pause this puppy. Sorry, I hadn't recorded this. Number seven. Agraba Indian Princess. Number eight. This is a mystery round people who are watching this on YouTube. And I'll, we'll, yeah. we'll repeat the questions in a minute. Oops. Number eight. The term black is no longer typically used in its original context, but it means sour tasting in Japanese. Number nine. The 38th state of the US admitted to the union in 1876 has its name derived from a color. What color is this? And number 10. What is the mystery category? Oh, good Lord. Okay. Okay. So do you need me to move you from room to room or can you move from room to room? Um, I think I could do it. I think, okay. I think I could do it now. If you don't text me and I will. I'll let you know. Okay, okay. You thanks think, Susan. Rob? All right, here we go. Avi. Oh, Adrian's here. You put Adrian. Hello. Hi, Adrian. Put Mono in his room. And I'm going to put you in. Put you in this room. Yeah, that one's got it. Put you there. Yeah, that's where I'm going to put you. You're in five. Thank you. Colorado. I'm it's guessing red. I'm guessing Colorado is red because yeah. it's Chile Colorado. What number are we and talking number, about? Number 10. I think all the answers are colors. And then because Helen Gurley five. Brown. Who? Helen, Helen Gurley Brown. Gurley Brown. Cosmopolitan oh, magazine. So everything's color. Okay, and number five is Walter White. All of them have color names. So I got number 10. <laughs> <laughs> We 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 got Colorado. We got Colorado. Colorado. <laughs> but Wait, I don't why know. Why, why is Colorado a color? What? Colorado. I don't know. There's a dish called Chile Colorado, and it's red. Colorado means red in Spanish. Seriously? So we have a I state it, named Red. We have a state I named thought Red. It was, I thought it was Florida, Florida. but Florida. Rojo is Red, but it, it's another variation of it. Yeah. So. Uh, but I put clickbait for one, and clearly clickbait is not the right yeah, that answer. Was, that was my thought. We put clickbait for six, right? Right. Yeah. That yeah. doesn't make sense. Oh. Is there like. What color would it be? Hmm. Well, number five is Walter White. That is the character's name from Breaking Bad that calls himself Heisenberg. Cool. Um, is Jasmine considered a color? No. 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 Okay. 
Because when he said Agrabahian princess, Agrabah. Oh, yeah, Agrabah from dun, 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 dun. Aladdin, because it's a fictional place. Yeah, Jasmine makes sense. Was there any other princesses? No, I don't think so. I don't know, but we can name colors. <laughs> Let's go through the list and let's try okay. and figure it out. The Who list of colors? In, yeah, so all oh, no, the, the No, the, let's go through the questions and just try yeah. and figure it out. So who entered the US in 1882 saying I have nothing to declare except my genius? Hmm. We can come back to that. Black, somebody named Black. Is there somebody famous? And smart named Black. <laughs> that would violate the rule because Black's not a color. <laughs> that is a color. Black oh, is, sorry. Black black is, is, black is technically all the colors. Color. It is not a color. White, white is, is all the colors. Repelled. White is all the colors. Is black acceptable. is no color. Black is no color. color. Okay, number two. Number two. White is absence. Number two. Number two. Number Three, three, right? Blonde. Well, blonde is not a color. Yeah, it's a hair color. Jim Croce did not have blonde hair. Tom Arnold does not have blonde hair. Elizabeth Taylor? She, I don't know. She was. Oh, they had green eyes. She had, had green it. eyes. She had no. She had violet eyes. Blue eyes, eyes maybe. I think blue, blue eyes. Elizabeth Taylor had violet did eyes. Did. Did. They did. They did. Well, this. violet eyes then. Violet. Then we'll pick violet oh. if they all. So does Helen no, Reddy, all... Marilyn Monroe, Ivanka Trump, did all those have this. violet eyes? They did something, not so doing something is not having. I don't do brown eyes. No, it doesn't say anything. Oh yeah, it does. no, it does. Yeah, yeah. all did this. Um, and it's Ivanka, which is the daughter. The daughter. I have a nose job, boob job, black blackmail. Um. <laughs> That's good, Karen. They all, all been blackmailed. They well, all died. They all died. Yellow journalism hair. is yellow journalism one of the answers? It could be. What is yellow journalism? It's whenever they have uh, like um, wait, ha no, but did this? Well, so that could be dyed their hair. So that would be to do with color. But would Jim Croce have dyed his hair? No, wow. but he died. Oh. But Ivanka, Tom and, Arnold, and, and Tom and... Arnold. Let's let's face it, might as well be dead. Oof. And Ivanka That's should die. Karen, that we're, not gonna, we're not going to. We're not going to make that. Him. You killed him, and we have this on the recording. It is I mean, Karen's only... fault. If we wake up tomorrow morning, put, and Tom Arnold divorce, is dead. We Ivana, know it's Karen's but... fault. You're okay, maybe Marilyn we're Monroe. getting hung up that they're all colors before it's time. Why don't we just answer what we think, okay. <sighs> then look at them, then reassess. Okay, this actor's first television credit was a commercial for the Atari game Pitfall. Ah, Jack is... Black, Jack Black, Jack Black. Oh, oh, great. Very good. Okay, these are, okay, we used black. All right. So what content refers to content published on a website which has the purpose of keeping the user getting the user to return to that particular site or hold their content is it green content or evergreen content maybe. evergreen content oh i like that i do like oh, that where have you heard that before but evergreen is that's on squaring the strange they always talk about it right that yeah, they do. that it could be played anytime during larger period periods of time on the site i think that's correct that's yeah okay. let's evergreen. try evergreen great good good job okay an agrabian princess Agra, what is that word? Gold? I can't even say that. Agra Agrabahian. Like Agraba, what? a fictional Agrabah. city from um, Aladdin, Aladdin and the Magic Lamp. Oh, what was her name? Jasmine. Jasmine? Oh, Jasmine. Jasmine. That's not a color. Jasmine. But it's Jasmine a color. Maybe that. Maybe maybe he thinks it's a color. But yeah, it's Jasmine. What else would it be? Maybe he thinks it's a color. Well, Jasmine's kind of a purple color. 
I'll put Jasmine because there, well, okay. there, there are Jasmine. people I won't I won't mention names on here who do categories and they do a question and I just they're just okay. wrong, but they're sure it's right. Well, we know we know okay. how you are, Rob, and we were figuring okay. you were so going to be like let's, let's put Jasmine, Jasmine can't be with the because we know there is a Jasmine who is an Agrabari yeah. princess. Okay. Well, come back what is something the term else? that is no longer typically used in its original context, but means sour tasting in early Japanese? Oh God. Could it be plum? Because they have plum wine. Plum is a color. Yeah, but yeah. it says a term. Plum is not a, is plum a term? I don't know. The bottle. Anybody know how to say plum in that language? Uh oh, we froze. No, I... we froze. We're back. I, you didn't freeze. Yeah, I didn't see a freeze. Well, you guys that. froze. So. No, we didn't freeze. Yes, you did. No. That was not a big orchestrated conspiracy. Like, no, mm. you froze. It was Mandela effect. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we don't have eight either, right? What's that's the question the one, on that's eight? Is, doing eight now. is the term that um, that's is what Jap at. Okay. Japanese for early. We Saturday. don't have that. We don't have the customs agent thing. And we don't have the uh, Marilyn Monroe, et cetera, thing. Two, mm -hmm. three, and eight. So let's okay, see. who would have been alive? What do we have for one? Oh, uh, Helen Curry Brown. That's one. Helen for Helen Curry Brown. So like we don't have the word yellow, pink, blue, orange. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait! Is it possible that they sang the blues? Number three. Ivanka I Trump can sing. I yeah. and elizabeth taylor doesn't sing but that but i what like if they all had the blues what if they all suffer from depression yes yes that's good you all that's have good. the blues no no yes. Ivanka Trump is not known for having depression look if i was if my dad was but donald trump i think i'd be depressed <laughs> yeah, no we she all would but she doesn't look, no Look, no, okay. she's allowed to be depressed, but bitch, you're like, there is another thing in therapy. So. I'd, like to suggest, I'd like to suggest, since we have no answers, that we fill in all the answers, then go back and change things and think more mm -hmm. deeply so we don't end up right. with. Couldn't, I know Marilyn Monroe had manic depression. Yeah. But, but so could it all be that they're bipolar? Having that? Come on. Who? But that's not a color. Trump. Who's not known? Ivanka is well, not you don't know that you don't know that it could be well, like if, if he's gonna put maybe he list, meant to put Ivana no she didn't have it either I think she did <sighs> could they be, they be children of somebody famous no Marilyn, no, Marilyn Monroe, Monroe was, was Norma Jean was poor as fuck okay Norma Marilyn Monroe used a had a different name Ivanka Norma Trump Jean. did not. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Ivanka Trump is, was named. Oh, no, that's not it. I was going to say they were named after their mom. Like Ivanka was Ivana, you know, it was like made after. And right, but Marilyn was first. Marilyn named was after named his Norma mother, Jean. Thomas. Yeah, so it doesn't make sense. Yeah, his mother, yeah, Thomas. And Marilyn Monroe's Thomas. name was Norma Jean. Okay, I came up with an answer. It's not right. All right, all right, all right. Because they all had the, they all suffered from depression. They all had the blues. You know, I, I I would like to say let's put it down and and get answers for everything. Yeah, and put, let's put go back for three. Okay, come question back two. If we have time. Question two: When first entering the United States in eighty eighty two. Okay, so there's uh, that. What could, what 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 author that could be or Darwin something. was around, Maybe but he a, didn't come to the United author. States, did he? No. Maybe an author. That would be a quippy um, thing for how about, author. Who wrote well. the yellow wallpaper? Ooh, that mm -hmm. was a woman. Yeah, what was her name? Who wrote uh, the yellow wallpaper? Yeah, but her name didn't have anything to do with yellow. But she wrote the yellow it wallpaper. It sounds so much like Mark Twain. Yeah. But like he Twain didn't first Twain. standard he, he was, the but US. He was American. He was American. He, he was American. Yeah. yeah. So he wouldn't first. But this person is not stating that they weren't American. They just said this to a customs agent coming back in. First entering the US. Okay. So well, we might European be reading too or... much into that first. Tolkien. Tolkien? No. That's about the era. Um yeah, but Tolkien never came to the US. Tolkien would have been like a child then. Red skeleton. Red skeleton? Oh well, is he, no, he that was old? American. 
Hmm. No, he's not that old. What um, about Orange? Is there anybody with the last name like Lorange? Mm. What about the Pink Panther? How are you guys doing? We got yeah, we're, stuck on, we're, not, we're stuck on. We're not on, quite on, there on yet. Three. Could the Pink stuck Panther have talked to a customs agent in 1882? No, he didn't talk. <laughs> he was silent. <laughs> Um, mm. Professor Plum, Colonel Mustard, Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> Ooh, nice one. I like that. Scarlet. Yeah. Please make me, mm. please, please humor me and just put an answer before, and then we can always change it. We don't yes. even have any, anything that we can put. Mrs. Peacock. Spider Man. I mean, we don't have anything okay, to guess at even. Remember. Okay, so I have a guess for the Chinese thing sour, sour apple. Japan Japan Japanese, you mean? I don't yeah, know what it is. I can't see the questions, what but is sour it? is like sour apple, green. Jap you can't Japanese. see the questions? Okay, sour <laughs> apples, Japanese. Sour apples, United States. It's a guess. We have zero. But you want to say what? Sour apple? So it's from. How many letters? I don't oh, know. The term green is no longer typically used in our general context. So well, green meant sour green tasting. Six. Here, Karen, here's the questions that we were five missing. Letters. It's five letters. It's five letters for the Japanese word. Uh, it's probably well, he, a Japanese he, he, word then, actual he, word he, in Japanese. Is, sushi? Sushi is five letters. What about cherry? C H E R R Y. That's five letters, right? Or six? Well, no, it's yours. It should be a, a word in that language, right? Let's go with sushi. Let's go with sushi. Okay. That's not a color, so I don't okay. get that. Who, well, who you know what? United States. Look, if Carl can do better, if Carl gets a 10 on this, we know he's a cheater. Uh, how about why? How, he may know it. No, I, I no, Carl would not it. know. Carl would not know this. Carl would I like not the, know. I like the plum thing better than sushi is that five p-l-u-m I, I don't plum. you're assuming like, he does that we like know plum Kevin plum does that. you're assuming plum. he does that let's yeah i don't plum. do i don't do that let's go with plum plum e <laughs> plum e <laughs> plum that right. makes it plum. Like, plum. Plum. that's the japanese plum. that's plum in japanese plum. 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 i think so we should question say that two is a man coming from another country whose <sighs> name has got a color in it. So Mr. Like 1860s approximately. Mr. Pink. So could he have come from Mr. Pinko? Mr. Beige. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Pinko, some commie. Mr. Cornflower, Mr. Brick, brick red, orange, yellow. Um I'm going through Crayola names. This is annoying me because I, I think I actually heard this once before somewhere. I've heard but this too. Oh, 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 oh. You have coloring pen. And it's it's Mark Twain's contemporary. Yeah. Yeah, that's Who's right. Mark Twain's British. contemporary. What did he write? He's probably British or Brownie um, O'Shannigan. Mr. <laughs> Safflower. So, uh, Susan, do you yeah. want to do a two minute? You want to do the two minute warning? Okay, uh, when you leave the room. Oh, I have to leave? Or no, you could do it here. Yeah, no, you here. should stay here. You can go away. Orange um, O'Malley. All right. Cobalt. What about cobalt? Sure. Cobalt and black. Okay, okay, so how do we put cobalt? Put cobalt. Oh, okay. uh, Hydrangea. Scarlet. Magenta. Vermilion. Wait, Make up your minds. Which are we picking? Mr. Are we picking? Vermilion. Wait, did you have a box of Crayola crayons on your desk or something? <laughs> yeah. We might have the color Go to the breakout back. rooms, Jamie. Go out to the breakout rooms and hit geranium rooms. Um, let's see if let's see if this works. Millions. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Can't you do it, Susan? Yeah, I can do it. Rose. I'm trying to. Okay, I'm doing yeah. it. Salmon blue. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Thanks. Mark Lavender. Temporary, you guys. Come on now. Think about Mr. this. Mr. Lavender. Lilac. It's a guy. Mr. Rainbow. Mr. Rainbow. Okay. Do you have like, sang the blues for three? Yes. 
Yeah. Okay, it's probably wrong, but it's something. I think it's uh, they had the blues depression. They had the blues. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, they, not saying had. They, had yeah. the they didn't sang the blues. They had the depression. Okay, because evergreen it's... content. It says they did this. Did they do the blues? Or did they? They took the medication for depression. There, there we go. Just, just go somewhere. Go somewhere with your stuff. We'll, we'll give Jamie clout. Okay, later. and number ten is <laughs> colors. Mm -hmm. Ten is colors. So what are we lacking? I two, think it's Mr. Laurent. Number oh, three two. is Mark Twain's contemporary Mr. Laurent Orange. That was number, number, two. Two. number two. It's number two. Oh, number two. And we go with Scarlet. Mr. Scarlet. Silver. In the conservatory with anybody the named Silver. All right. Anybody named Scarlet. Gold. Let's go with Scarlet. Gold. Scarlet. <sighs> Scarlet. Will Scarlet? There you go. Ebony, you is the yellow princess, better by Pearl Jam. The guy. Is there a princess uh, Will Ebony Scarlet from Robin Hood? Pokemon? What'd you say? Well, you've Queen? got to stop, Jamie. Karen, what'd you is say? There, We're stopped. Is, is there a princess Ebony in Agrabah? No, there's only her. She's she doesn't no. even have a little sister. Jasmine is. Yeah, I don't color. think there was any other females at all, right? Uh -uh. It's all yeah, about she was her. the only she was it. Yeah, who's okay, definition I didn't write of any of these down. Black is not a color. Black is a color. All colors. That was hard. Okay. So really good questions. It's the answers we hated. <laughs> it started out hard, but it got easier. Yeah, yeah. It got easier. Once you once you get the category, then it got a little bit easier. A tiny bit, but we still. And we obviously didn't get the category. <laughs> All right. Is everyone everybody's back? back? Yeah, okay. once we cracked it, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. We stopped okay, fighting so, and yelling at each other. Yeah. That does make it more fun. Yeah. <laughs> Jamie, okay. Jamie, read the question out again because I wasn't recording whenever we um Okay. Okay, so number one, having died in 2012, she was the editor in chief of Cosmopolitan magazine for 32 years. That was Helen Gurley Brown. Number two, when first entering the US in 1882, he famously said to the customs agent when asked if anything to declare, I have nothing to declare except my genius. Who was this? That was Oscar Wilde. Oscar Wilde. Oh, uh, I think we uh -oh. messed up the theme. Yeah. We messed yeah. up, you guys. We messed up the theme too. Yeah. yeah. Number three. Elizabeth Taylor, Helen Reddy, Meryl Monroe, Ivanka Trump, Tom Arnold, and Jim, Jim Croce all did this. Do people know? I, I'll give me another hint. Um, they converted Sammy to Davis, Judaism. They converted to Judaism. Sammy Davis Jr. also did. They converted to Judaism. Okay. Ivanka. Go ahead, sorry, yeah. She sure yeah, converted. Yeah, Jared. Yeah. Yeah. Jared Kushner, who I share a birthday with, is Jewish. Yeah. Oh, they were all gluttons for punishment. Yep. Number four, yep. Number four, this actor's first TV credit was a commercial for the Atari game Pitfall at the age of 13. Among his many movie roles, he starred in the 2005 King Kong remake and 2011 film The Big Year. He later dedicated himself to charity efforts against poverty after traveling to Uganda in 2015 for Red Nose Day, a program sponsored by Comic Relief USA. That was Jack Black. Mm. Number five, Breaking Bad Heisenberg was Walter White. Number six is a common um, marketing theme. Okay, it's a marketing statement. Blank content refers to content published on a website, which has the purpose of getting users to return to that website or hold their attention, get them to spend longer periods of time on that site. That means it's sticky content. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, Good call, Alan. Some Never marketing to it. Sticky content. Number seven, Agrabah Princess was Jasmine. Uh. Princess Jasmine. <laughs> That's Number what we eight. put, Karen. Why are you? Uh. <laughs> because we were, instead of accepting that that was the answer and think we were wrong in the theme, we were sticking to our assumption about the theme. 
Yeah. That's okay. Eight. I still don't get the theme having heard all the answers. No. We haven't got all the answers yet, Rob. Number eight, oh. the term blank is no longer typically used in its original context, but means sour tasting in early Japanese. Sour tasting is actually sushi. Sushi Yay! means sour taste. It's changed I, now. I figured the out the, the theme now. Okay. Sushi is sour tasting. The 38th state of the U.S. admitted to the Union in 1876 has its name derived from what color? And the, the state is Colorado because um, in Spanish, um, rojo is red. Colorado means colored red. Colorado. So the answer is red for number nine. Number 10, the mystery category is rice. rice. Types of yep. rice. Oh. I was close when I said red beans oh. and rice. Oh. Yeah, you were thinking red beans. So, uh, okay. Types of rice. That was fun. What, what is Jewish Varieties. rice? I need to know what the heck Jewish rice is. Converted, converted, rice. converted, 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 converted rice. rice. Uncle Ben. <laughs> converted Uncle rice. Ben. Converted rice. No, I'm going with this Jewish rice. It's all Jewish rice. <laughs> it's cooked with space <laughs> lasers. Uncle, 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 Uncle Benny Kaplan. It was Uncle Benny. Did get number 10? Hard. I would never have gotten Converted no rice. rice. Black People rice. Got white rice. We actually had sushi for Sticky dinner. Rice. Jazz Wild rice. Yeah. <laughs> rice. I didn't, I've never heard of jazz sushi rice. meant handheld. Okay, okay. Wild oh. rice. Susan, okay. you've never no, heard of Jasmine rice? No. Jasmine is like oh, the Jasmine most. Jasmine is common, so good. I've never heard of it. It's like the most it's common yummy. type of rice. What happened to Condoleezza? <laughs> <laughs> and then you yeah. have basmati, which is Jerry. really good. Red rice. Yeah, basmati, but. Yeah, well, there's also Carolina rice, Carolina gold rice. But we won't yeah, but get spelled, into that problematic history. Yeah, it's spelled differently. Go to a Thai um, restaurant if you want Jasmine rice. Yes. Yeah. Right. Or go Jasmine. to Trader Joe's. They have it in the freezer section. Wow. Well, actually, that's, that's how this I came up with really the This was really good. You did a really good job on this, Jamie. That really took me. I, this was good, Jamie. That was a really good one. Yeah. Okay, really good. let's see what we got. So uh, the Texas storm can't be that bad because Cruz has gone, has not gone to Cancun. Yeah. Woo. Ten. Nice. Hey, Peter. somebody said that if that team got it, they were cheating. <laughs> Alton. All right. I will mind the it. trivia. Shouldn't we be helping Janine with her sink? Nine. 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 Wow. Yeah. Netflix scoff us. Scoff laws. That's, that's 27. Six. Groundhog said we get six more weeks of Santos. Five. Punxsutawney Shill is George Santos's new drag name. <laughs> I like that. That's Jamie's category. Jamie's team. Five, uh, Jamie. Uh, Jamie. We had kept <laughs> sushi instead of switching to plum for number six uh, or eight. Well, well we, we thought it was colors. One. There's we no freaking sushi colors, color. Jamie. We thought it was colors. Uh, oh, oh well. You got you it. Brown, it. black, white. First, yeah. we thought it was colors. Yeah, yeah, we. Oh, well. We yeah. went to rice, or I mean, uh, tea, the tea instead of rice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, and sticky about... tea just didn't work. <laughs> oh, and tea. that sucks. We would have had that answer right. That's where we need to be better about answering the questions instead of trying to force them right. to fit the theme. And answer the questions yeah. first. Yep. Yeah, because yeah, you may have the theme wrong in our it case. It helps if you know yep. the answers exactly. to the questions without the theme. Yes. Mm. So none of us ever heard the term sticky for that, but we all thought it was evergreen content. Which is what mm. is referred to oh. that it's always fresh on a website. So, oh, Adrian, Adrian, Adrian do you want to say what you just told me? I think it's funny. Oh, about Gail? Or the other bit? Yeah. No, what do you do about Gail? So, Let's I do just. The Gail bit first. Yeah, I'll do the Gail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when we were as a group in the team, you said something about this is your brother's category. And I finally clued in after all this time that you and Jamie are actually related. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that just shows how much I pay attention to names, right? <laughs> oh my God, related? I have no idea. <laughs> hey, hey, Adrian, Alan's my brother. 
do you share? Oh, I knew that. <laughs> well, what should we do? Can I, and, get, and I've, I've, you know, I've been on Zoom with Gail so many times. I'm like, Gail, you have the same aneurysms as Jamie. They're the same. They have the same aneurysm. <laughs> Gail and J Jamie, how how are you connected? That's his brother. Brother, his brother, and sister. Brother, 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 brother. 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 Wait, I didn't know this either. Like Brad's out in the corner right now, but I didn't know that. Hey, Adrian, I'm yeah. with you. I didn't know that. There we go. Oh, so that's been a whole thing before. Well, we've had it on Zoom before. And Avi, so Avi, Avi's my uncle. <laughs> Wait, a <second. laughs> Wait a second. Seriously, you guys aren't kidding me that you guys didn't realize that Gail and Jamie are siblings? No. I knew. I knew. I knew. I knew. Yeah. I knew. 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 I didn't know. I didn't know. Hey, oh, Gail, no, I can't unsee it. You both have the same nose. Yeah. We have the same last name, but we're technically not related. <laughs> <laughs> they have the same mannerisms, the same speech patterns. They're so and similar. We do and we do a lot of and food we, categories. We both pick right categories about food. <laughs> you say the same mannerisms. Oh shit! Yeah. She did. I just, I just she don't understand that. where Avi got the tree growing out of his head. That's oh, all. Oh, that's from his mom. I guess. <laughs> I'm not it's saying it's aliens, enough. but I, I had. To, oh my gosh, that's surprise. Okay, you guys shocked me tonight. All right. So, Gail, Gail, how many times have you been to Thailand to visit? Never. 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 I've never been to Thailand ever. He well, only went to Thailand when he retired. Each other. Like, yeah. Remember? Yeah. And that's part of the reason that this that he comes to this group because this is we were making long phone conversations and now we can see each other here. Exactly. This is, this is a I haven't seen see him in other. person since he moved to Thailand. You, you don't years, care yeah. about tribute at all then. <laughs> <laughs> They're just here to keep from saving to save themselves from the phone call. <laughs> good, good front. Good front. That's funny. Right. Okay, here we are. We're going to go to Troy. Now, this has been vetted by Kevin. It's warmed up yet. That's I don't know why Kevin's here, but it's, oh, he's gone. Okay, Kevin's gone. That's right. Kevin was there for momentarily. So, Troy, I'm going to give you your powers. Uh, you got to practice last week, so. Um, Kevin was here because, uh, so he could drop in and technically he's never missed a trivia. Oh, that's right. Yay, oh, Kevin! Good job, Karen. Technically, but wait, I don't, uh, there's, Kevin, no, there's no video me. evidence of that this time for this one. So, did he really show up? Yeah, because we, we yeah. were recording when he showed up. Yeah. So, so uh, if Kevin falls in the forest, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, everybody, your best behavior. It is Troy's turn. Okay, okay Troy, so you've got your special powers now. It says here when I click on more, there's a thing that says breakout rooms. Mm -hmm. So is there something underneath that menu? All you're going to do right now is paste everything into the uh, read out your question, paste it into chat. Got it. Then you'll then you're going to go ahead and do. Um, then we'll we'll deal with you jumping from room to room, but you have first, the powers to do it right now. Yeah. First, so, say the category, and then I will mute everybody. Yeah, say the category, and then everybody. Uh, Avi's going to mute us. Okay. No, don't mute me. I'm special. <laughs> I'm kidding. You try to unmute yourself. <laughs> I do. The category is February second. All right. Okay. Two, one, four, three, two, one. Okay. So the first question, the Battle of Mortimer's Cross was fought in England near Wales on February 2nd, 1461, during which war? Number two, how old is Puxitani Phil, give or take 10 years? Three, which actress born on February 2nd, 1947 was well known for a flip? Number four, which actor who played a humanoid was born on February 2nd, 1949? Is it Anthony Daniels, 
who played C-3PO in Star Wars, Arnold Schwarzenegger as the Terminator, Brent Spiner as Data on Star Trek, or Peter Weller, Robocop. Five, this English actor who died on February 2nd, 1969, was considered a horror icon and has two stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Six, what is the stage name of the English punker who died on February 2nd, 1979, and whose band, with a racy name, was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame 27 years later? Seven, which country celebrates Constitution Day every February 2nd? the day of the ratification of their 1987 constitution. Eight, who was the public official that announced on February 2nd, 1990, the end of apartheid and the decision to release Nelson Mandela? Nine, Along with Bill Murray, who played Phil Connors in the 1993 film Groundhog Day, name one other character, one other actor or actress or their character's names. And Puxatani Phil doesn't count as a character answer, but the name of the groundhog who portrayed him does. And last, number 10, groundhogs are more commonly known as a woodchuck. Name one other name for a groundhog. Well done, great questions. I don't know any answers, but those are great. <laughs> good good Kevin, debut. Kevin, we also have to thank Kevin too, because there are no mistakes here. That looks great. Good job, <laughs> clearly read, posted in the thing, beautiful. All right. Good job, Troy. Yeah, very thank good. Thank you. Okay, good. now, uh, so do you want to send us to our rooms? Or do you want to let the break? do it? Uh, there yep. we go. Oh, there we okay. go. And everybody's in, oh, wow, smooth sailing. See you guys in a few minutes. All right. So, Troy, you should go and, and move from room to room. You have the powers to go to the rooms and um, come back here when you think everybody's done. So then we'll we'll close the rooms again. But you want to spend time okay. in the other rooms because the room that I'm in right now is being recorded and none of the other rooms are being recorded. And it's so interesting to watch people go through the the process of trying to figure these out so don't give any hints okay plus you can gauge how close people yeah, are you being can gauge done how close and, we are to finishing yeah. and thankfully you're wearing a mask so you won't have to give up any any hints because usually when we go into rooms we're like this because it's so hard not to laugh or give hints is that fine oh yeah okay do you know how to jump around no i see the little breakout room pop up so, with yeah, the room go to, go to the yeah rooms. you highlight the room and click the join button oh, and I'm... you can go back and forth okay all right all right okay i don't know any of these um oh, I got wait, at least... the first one would be 14... what happened to james we lost james I mean, he didn't leave already did he no he shouldn't have left yeah, he did, shame. And... did you kick him out susan no <laughs> he's not like waiting to be no he's not but in, in. Is he in a? Is he in still or in a different room? No, he's in no room. He must have jumped out. Oh, watch, okay. Watch for him in a minute. He'll probably show up. All right. All right. So let's see. For number one, I'm thinking the Thirty or the Seven Years' War, but I can never remember which one was back war? in 1461. Hmm. Battle of Hastings. Don't, don't. Uh, I think that's, that was that's, later. That, that's 1066. Or earlier, sorry. So you said either the Seven Years or the or the 30 years yeah. war i have no idea i'm fine yeah. with whatever the group thinks i, I was lean, i was leaning towards the 30 years war but don't guarantee yeah. it um, that, that that's sounds fine. good to me we should have went <laughs> with sticky that's the problem as you mentioned that multiple times but well, we were so I couldn't focused a sticky on the tea. damn theme that was incorrect and that's why yeah, well. we didn't get the answer 
Yeah. So oh, for well. two, d- does she mean like the actual one that's they're watching right now, or the whole idea of it? That's or what is there, I has there yeah, only yeah, ever yeah. been I'm one? Wondering, how yeah, we should ask that before she left. I wasn't quite sure. Because I thought Fun- Punk's Tony Field came out in the 50s. Well, but there the- was always Groundhog Day and there was always a thing about seeing, yeah, in the 50s, about seeing if they did the... But was it called yeah. Punk's Tony Field until... I don't, right. In other words, anytime, uh, anytime the Groundhog dies, do they just name the new one the same name? And it continues Yeah, yeah. is it like tradition? Lassie or something? You right. Know? Yeah. They so just stuff into one in there. Do we want to say there's no way of knowing how old punks the time like 70 old. years? And how old how old do they get anyway? I don't I can't imagine they'd live well, more than 70. No. No, I mean, maybe 20. That's what <laughs> I was right. thinking, 20 years I'm, old. I'm guessing that it's how long has the concept of Punxsutawney Phil been around, which would right. lead me to 70 years. Yeah, because right. uh-huh. we'll give or take 10 years. I, yeah. Well, let's put you, 70 for now and we'll get a clarification. Yeah, okay. Do you hopefully, think we should put 65 hopefully. just because we have a 10 year? Well, I mean, no, as long as I can remember, there was he was around, and even growing well, up, well, the Canada, question is we if we think it. it's been around since the 50s, could it have been earlier than hey, we think? Hey, and that's where leaving Palmer it at 70. In room one has just asked for help. How much you want to bet he's asking? <laughs> he's here. asking for clarification. Oh, that's the same yeah. question, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, let me move, um, let me move. Um, so right, well known for a flip, born in 47. Um, like a hair so flip, there were, hair flip. Mean, yeah, or? yeah, hair flip. Like it's probably um, Mary Tyler Moore. Or, That's what I was thinking. So I was thinking of. Of. All right, yeah. we have okay. we have like three people thinking it. Yeah, there I was thinking Debbie Boone or Doris Day, but okay. <laughs> Doris Day's not lot older. Forty-seven, 47 <laughs> sounds about right for Mary Tyler Moore. Yeah, right? that age sounds okay. about right. Yeah, I have no right. idea. All these fit well, but yeah. I have no idea which one of them was born on February 2nd. I mean, that would make him, what, four, four years older than me, so 73. Who's 73? Mm. I don't think Peter Spiner's Weller's that old. Think Spiner's yeah. not that old. No. For sure. and, I know that for a fact. Schwarzenegger Peter might be that old. I, think I, I, saw I was so thinking of Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger. Daniels could be that old. Yeah. I, Peter I Weller. For some reason, I thought yeah. Anthony Daniels was older, but I, I'm not sure. Well, well, he's dead, but, you know. <laughs> what? Anthony Daniels well, meaning... is dead? Yeah, he died this last year. You know what I meant. Oh. Yeah. But, Maybe yeah. I missed it. Let me put it I this would look him up, but that might give away earlier. the answer. I'm so, thinking Arnold. Was so, I... Ar- Arnold or Weller? I'm thinking Peter Weller. Uh, Weller's a possibility, too. Yeah. He's okay. a possibility, but he might be in his 60s, but I could be wrong. But I think I'm pretty sure Arnold's so what year? Let's 70s. think about this. What year did Robocop come out? 1980. 90s or 80, late 80s. It was either, I think it was like mid 80s, actually. It and might he have was been. probably how old in that movie? 30 30 30. 70 which means he still wouldn't make it he'd have to be 73 so are are we do we sound good with uh schwarzenegger as our answer is that what we want to go with i like schwarzenegger i like schwarzenegger and we don't want to spend forever on question four so right Um, horror icon has two stars. Why would they have two stars on the Hollywood Walk? Because they would have it like for music, or I mean, you know, for two different reasons. Or it's for their character and for the actor. Yeah. And I'm thinking, what's Vincent Price? Did he live longer than that? He lived a lot longer than that. Yeah, yeah. I I actually, I actually saw him in person in like 1970 something. So, and and he was still alive. Okay, and he was still yes. I was gonna say (laughs) he's not. Yeah, I I couldn't remember when he died. How about Karloff? How? Oh, Karloff wasn't British. Was he British? Uh, But I don't think he was English. How about Bela Lugosi? He was Hungarian. Oh, all right. Was I thought Carla was I don't know. I thought he, for some reason I thought he was like Eastern European, but maybe not. The name oh, like Boris Karloff. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. Um. Well, because uh, Cushing was still around after sixty nine. 
Well, yeah, Cushing was in Star Wars. He was so. in Star Wars. Yep. Um, Karloff yeah. could be. Maybe it was Karloff. I mean, he sounds around the right time. I mean, put that if we can't yeah. think of anything else. Right. Good English. Um, Sid Vicious was six, I think. Was That's, it? Okay. Sid Vicious, that sounds right? Sounds good to me. Sid and Nancy. Sid oh, Vicious. Oh, very good. Sex Pistols. Vicious. Yeah. Sex yeah, Racy Name, yes. Sex Pistols. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Good, good answer, Carolyn. Okay. Which country celebrates okay. Constitution Day? I think 1987. It's got to be a British, you know, what, something that was British, right? Like, New Zealand, Australia. I was thinking of Canada, Australia, Australia. Okay. That was my I, again. I'm I'm not positive. I just want to lay that out there. But that was what my gut was telling me was Australia. But I all, just hope it's not Canada because then I should know this. Although we didn't have a constitution when I left in '81, so. Well, see, <laughs> then it could have gotten ratified in '87. Yeah. yeah, there was there was talk about a constitution at that point, but I if they came up with it, I missed it. So, who, who announced that he they were releasing Nelson attention. Mandela? Uh, that'd be Botha. He was the the uh, president of South Africa at the time. Like B O T H A. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember like, his first name was, but I would hope that that's enough. But yeah, who knows? All right. So what's funny is I've seen. Uh, I, see her. I can see her face. She's yeah, Andy, Mc, Andy McDowell. Man. Thank you. Oh, I'm all like, what the heck is her you. dang I name? I know it was like, I was going to say it was a man's name. What, yeah. is, what was her character name? Do you remember? No. You've watched the show every year. Oh, no, that's why I'm back. We can ask, we can ask her question. Is. We can ask her a question. I wonder if it's the same question that. Oh, yeah. Like, question two, like Troy. Did the question we want to ask is. When you went to room one, and because uh, Rob was asking a question, was it about question two? Everybody asked about question two. <laughs> okay. well, we, we assumed we knew what it was. We're going to ask Rob the same question. Help. He was like, help us, help us. So it's, is it, it with Punxsutawney it, Phil, we're talking about the character Punxsutawney Phil, not the actual. Like all the ones that have played him or just the most recent? How and I'll tell, tell you the same answer I give everyone else. The second half of that, the part in parentheses, give should be your 10 years. Okay, so we got to write, you guys. It's the character. That's kind of the way we took it based yeah, upon the sense. give or take. If if it's going to be an individual and they only live like 30 years, give or take 10 years is a pretty big. Uh, yeah, so I think so it's and who I knows if they even live that long. I'm just kidding. How long has there been a Punxsutawney Phil? Okay, Grand Oaks coming. Yeah. All right, we only Troy. need How's an answer now for time? 10. Troy, how is everybody what? else doing? Ah, just Are they like almost still done hung or? on the first? Looks like they're still hung on the first few questions. Uh oh. So, hey, we're doing all right this time. Well, we like to move through them. We don't necessarily have the right yeah. answer. Yeah, yeah, we, we like to have right answers. Through. Not yeah. everybody has their their things up on the screen so, so it's harder yes, to tell yeah. yeah yeah that's true too. okay so when we do it when we close the rooms we have two minutes so go so ahead half, back to other rooms and then come back whenever you think you need they need to okay I'm, I'm just recite i'm cycling through them so that makes sense. Yep. yeah next one yeah i think maybe one more cycle through and then maybe that'll be enough time who knows yeah i'll, I'll try to gauge it this time around okay <laughs> have a nice trip but you can ask if you need to just Ask, say, how are you guys doing? Because that's what I do when I'm doing categories. I just ask them, say, mm -hmm. are you guys close to being done? Or, you know, that you way you can get a gauge on how much more time they need. Yeah, because you don't have no. to go until everybody's got it right. I mean, sometimes you don't. Yeah. Right. <laughs> we can't, that's we not can't be happen. here all night. So. <laughs> Some of us yeah. are on the East Coast and we would like exactly. to go sleep, you know, this, ah, this week. Okay. Well, <laughs> like thank you, thank you. Okay. Thank you. I'll go. Go. I ahead. know. I know. So Grand anyone have a thought for number 10? Is it a moment? I don't know. Ooh, yes. Is it a what? Yeah. A hermit. A hermit. Mar no, marmot. Oh, a marmot. M A R M A R M O T. M A R M O T. I, I mean, so. I, I don't know. That's why I'm asked for some well, reason. Well, the minute you mentioned that, Carolyn, I was like, that totally like made the bells go off in my <laughs> head that I've heard that term before, and that <laughs> seems like it fits. We could be wrong, but. Well, right. The minute you said that, I was like, that sounds correct to me. Yeah. All so right. prairie, prairie dogs are different, right? Yeah, they're skinnier. They're skinnier. That's what I thought. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I would have 
I would have, if someone had just asked me to make up a name, I would have said ground pig. Okay, so we're hopefully good on one, but we think it could be another answer. I would say we're pretty sure on number two now that we've, okay. and based upon so them pointing out the give or take Mar 10 years. Mary Tyler Moore, who was, there was someone like Marlo, something Marlo. Oh, Marlo Thomas. 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 Didn't she have a flip too? Yes. Do we think that's more likely? I don't know. That's I right. think Marlo Thomas is older, isn't she? Then I, I mean, I think that I don't know. more born in forty seven makes. Well, sense. I don't know if it's the if it's generational too, but for me, Mary Tyler Moore is much more well known than the other actress okay. you mentioned. So well, I don't know. Other, not but, that that means that that's the answer to the question, but but it, it says born in forty seven, which means whoever it is, if they were still alive, would be seventy four. Seventy. Uh -huh. <laughs> 73 whatever she's died right mary Tyler. yeah mary tyler died which but was she she was older than that when she died i thought she was in her 70s already and she's been gone for two three years well that'd be about 74 yeah i think so well if it, if she's been gone three years and if she was still Would alive she'd be 74 that means when she died she was 71 and you just said she was in her 70s when she died. Yeah, um I just wonder if she was older than that. I mean, I I remember watching the you know the, the Dick Van Dyke show in the sixties, yeah. and she was already mm -hmm. well, she could have been in her twenties at that point. So okay, twenties maybe. Yeah. yeah. Anthony yeah. Daniels is still alive. Okay, so we don't. Are you sure? I thought he's the. He, I could have sworn he died. I, I think you're getting him confused with Peter Mayhew, who played Chewbacca, oh. died recently. That's yeah, true. Anthony Daniels has not died. I was like, okay. that doesn't sound right. Do we have an okay. answer? I'm He'll looking it up so without finding out what his birth date was so that I don't give it away. <laughs> okay, I take that back then. Do we have yes. a better answer than uh, Boris? Oh, for for five? I don't know. Okay. I can't that think of any sense. other he was a horror, horror icon. Yeah, well, horror like icon and having two stars because <laughs> Boris is pretty famous for, you know, Frankenstein. A specific character. So yeah. Yeah. That's why I would he also did the mummy. Yeah. And... He, yeah. The only thing that throws me off is whether he's English or not. Okay. Because okay. again, it's specifically asking for an English actor, and I don't know. And okay, the name so Boris Karloff. Right. Go to uh breakout rooms. Okay. And in the lower right hand corner it says close all rooms. It's a bright red box. Just hit it. Very good. Good, good category. This was minutes. this was fun. I don't know how many yeah, uh, right. answers we job. got right, but it was a fun category. Yeah, we're we're doing very badly so far, but I've tried yeah. both categories. <laughs> well, well, we're having a good time. And, and you tied yes, with uh, the is... room I was just in. So. Lon Chaney, Lon Chaney uh, so we... is still alive or or recently. So well, Lon there was Lon Chaney Jr. and there was Lon Chaney Senior. Yeah, but. but uh, what are we talking about? Well, Lon Chaney Senior was the it was the the horror one of the horror icons in the early yeah, part Lon of the Chaney. century. Well, wouldn't he his makeup? Wouldn't he? I don't know. He, mean, was, he was, he was, he was the, not a, he was well known for his acting, but he also was like a pioneer in makeup too. Yeah, so. he was the man known with, with a thousand faces a thousand or faces. something like that. I guess the question is: is what would constitute? A reason why someone has two stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. I would think it would have to be for playing a famous character, right? I mean, well, he played oh, the Wolfman. I'm sure has he that. played. No, that was that was Junior that did Wolfman. That was Junior. Okay, yeah. I, I can never remember who did which one. I need to. I need to rewatch all the classics. He was um, Jekyll and Hyde. Mm. Are we sticking with Boris? Or are we going over with Lon? I don't I'm know. Kinda... Who Boris. I, I'm leaning towards one of the two Lon Chaney's, and maybe we can just say Lon Chaney and hopefully don't care about junior <laughs> versus senior. <laughs> and I, just would, don't I would think it would be senior if. Yeah. I would think it would be senior. I think it's Boris. He's way more famous than. Only, only because I just don't think it's, he was. Lon Chaney I, sounds more British. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say that Boris Karloff does up. not sound English. Hurry up. Hurry, hurry. What are we doing? Hurry, Lon hurry, Chaney hurry. senior wins in my book. Uh, all right. Late. We were short. We were right behind. It's your first time, Bill. It's okay. 
and I don't think we were going to win anyway. So even if that last second changed, uh, isn't going to make that much did of a you difference. It, Ron? Filthy. Ron, did you change it? Well, I didn't write it down, so it's whether it got written down or not. Okay, who I'll, go, I'll go with whatever we came up with. Uh, Ron, we did the I, same I thing. I changed it on my sheet. Okay, yeah, I, think I saw it. Ron it down. We made a change, Ron, in our in our room too. Okay, well, if I'm wrong, uh, we'll blame Susan because she didn't correct me. <laughs> I, I was young. She tried really hard. Answer, so I don't. I think you just took it from the answer that was correct to an answer that is not correct. But I will know. We will know soon because I was recording in the room. So Troy, you're happens out. all the time. You don't have to all read right. the questions over again. Just kind of sum it up. I have misled and then this. Oh, Susan. Yeah. So I put my questions and answers in like a little slideshow. You so do you want me to reread the questions or no, just no. you could sum up the questions because we've got it. Thank all. you. You could just say the first one. Thank you. Uh, the war in 1461 was. Su Susan played the Android. Yeah, your audio is breaking up. Oh. Hey, go ahead, Troy. I thought it was mine. <laughs> oh, is everybody back? Yeah, we're back. Yeah. Oh, OK. <laughs> Is anybody so, not back? Um, raise your hand. Not back. Raise your hand. Share your screen and pick this one. Okay. Can everyone see it? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, that is right. that the theme? That was the theme. Yes. And it's still the second here. <laughs> that one, yeah, here too. Oh, it's yeah. the third. It's every third. Okay. Day. Um, okay. Okay. Now, I got to figure out how do I do this? Sharing the screen, but I want to change the, the paint. The, um, oh, there the we go. Line. Yeah, there you go. Okay. okay. So Mortimer's Zero. Cross was in which war? The war of the Rock. Oh, 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 shoot. Hey, Jamie. Oh, shoot. Hey, um, Gaspian. Oh, well. I knew Gaspian hey. would get it. That's, yes. <laughs> got right. it. A lot. <laughs> How Yay. old is Puxatani Phil? He's 136. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm wrong. Wrong. A little bit. Boy, he Whoa. looks good. He does look good. Wow. Nice. So every year he Oops. gets groundhog punch to uh, keep him alive. But the average lifespan of wild groundhog is six years, wow. not 60 or 30 or all those other funny answers. That's all. Wow. Hold well on, Gail. Uh, it's eroded. Okay, the actress. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. So many groans. Did anyone get that? such a crush on her. No, we put, we put like Mary Tyler. Tyler Moore. We put That's Marlo sweet. Thomas. We put That's Marlo Thomas name. or Mary Tyler Moore. We were going back. Oh, we were going somebody was talking about, about a flip this way. We thought it was this way. That's not a flip. It's, it's not. Never it's called the Thera flip, you guys. It's a flip. Really? Okay. Yeah. We call That's it feather. Hair. That's feather. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we call, call it, it feather. feather too. The flip is this. <laughs> yep. But oh well. Okay. <laughs> Thank oh, you. That's I don't. Oh. Yeah, that's the answer. Yeah. Actor is uh, Oh, okay. oh, oh really? <gasps> I, oh. I thought he would have been born later. Yeah. yeah. I didn't yeah. think he was that old. I should have known that. I didn't think he was. I didn't realize he was that older. Uh, so yeah, a lot of makeup, I guess. I didn't recognize. I would never <laughs> recognize him in person. It's his sense of humor. Keeps him young. The yeah. English actor who is the horror icon is Boris Karloff. All right, all right. Me till the very last second, saying Boris Karloff, and you changed the answer, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, just want you to know. You were right. Thank you. I was right. We have it recorded. I, I want to say that I'm the one that came up with the name first. I'm just uh, saying. Yeah, and Carolyn did come up before us, Carla. We should have stuck with it. Yeah, we should have. So, we might have a point now if we did. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> we I think we got point. one on the next turn. We do have one point now. Okay, good. Next to this. Yeah. So the punker is Sid Vicious. Hey, hey fantastic. One in a row. <laughs> 
<laughs> here, here. <laughs> the Constitution Day is Philippines. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, well. Did you get that, Jamie? No, we thought Argentina. Oh. oh. Oh, that's what and we had nice too. Job, Bill. Nice job, Bill. Oh, I heard sense. somebody got this one right. The official who announced the end of apartheid is F.W. De Clerk. Yeah, De Clerk. Yeah. All right. Uh, dang. Damn. Yeah, you got that. If you put the secretary, you got it wrong. <laughs> uh, Along with damn. Bill Murray, um, there's mm. a bunch of names. Um, do you want me to read them out? Rita. Oh, that was <laughs> okay. Andy McDowell as Rita Hansen, Chris Elliott as Larry the Cameraman, Stephen Tobolowski as Ned Ryerson, oh. Brian Doyle Murray as yeah. Buster Brother. Green, Marita Garotti as Nancy Taylor, Angela Patton as Mrs. Lancaster, Rick Ducumon as Gus, Rick Overton as Ralph, Robin Duke as Doris the Waitress, and also Ken Hudson Campbell. David Pasquizzi, Richard Hensel, Richard Rob Hensel. Riley, Hinden Walsh, Michael Shannon, Les Podwell, Rod Sell, Harold Ramis, and a groundhog named Ramis. Scooter. Yeah, Scooter. Okay, so in Rick honor of Groundhog Day, Troy, read that all again, please. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so does Rick have a window? Huh? The Overton window? <laughs> I don't know what that means. No. <laughs> and groundhogs are also commonly known as a woodchuck, as in how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Or Marmota monax, oh whistle pig. Oh, I knew there was a pig in there. Yep, I even said that. Chuck, you sure did. Woodshock, whistle. ground pig, whistler, thickwood badger, Canada yeah. marmot, monax. Moonak, Weenusk, Red Monk, Land Beaver, oh, right. Sifle, or Chuckling. <laughs> Will you accept just Marmot? Mm, no. Yeah. That's like the whole, there's a whole bunch of species for uh, Marmot. What? That's like saying, oh, it's a rodent. Like, well, yeah. Oh, so, no, no, no. What? The genus Marmot. Marmota. Yeah. yeah. No, hold your guns there, Troy. No, They'll try to if we said it in it. Latin, we'd be all right. Huh? I, I'm marmot. Canadian and we said marmot, so we got Canada marmot there. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> I like it. Well, if you're actually Canadian and you said marmot, then... Oh, I'm Canadian. Okay. He's so Canadian. Anything, anything uh, but a Canadian gets marmot, right? Well, then yeah. hang on. Then we get the point, too. Yep. <laughs> okay, go with yes. marmot. All right. Okay. You. Uh, Only if you're Canadian. Oh my gosh. That's it. Okay, do? good job. Now we need to do uh, a good category. I'm going to do uh, the wrong direction. Yeah, yeah we are. <laughs> Wikipedia has an article named Marmot, and that's the animal. Well it's done, Troy. She already said it. yes, Rob. Yeah. Well done, Troy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Also Rob the Canadian. Canadian. Company. That was fun. Yep. Did we get nine? Number nine? Yes. Andy yes. McDowell. Number nine. All right. So where are we at here? Let's see. Oh, what happened on my and, and Susan, <laughs> I'm curious. Did your team said say Ned for their answer? No, no, we said the actress Annie, whatever her name is. Candy. Oh, Annie Andy McDowell. McDowell. Yeah, we I said thought that. you'd say Ned. Okay. So let's start here with Punxsutawney Shill is George Santos' new drag name. We got six, right? Six. Okay. Groundhog said we get six more weeks of Santos. Three. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's called a curse. So close to four. So close. so close. Always does badly. <laughs> it always weird. is that way. Because I'm on your team now. Okay. <laughs> we don't blame Susan because Susan is just another player. Not okay. Netflix scoff laws. Five. Okay, let me make this font bigger. Five. Okay. 
Never mind the trivia. Shouldn't we be helping Janine with her sink? Eight. Mm. Not bad. Okay. The Texas storm can't be that bad because Cruz has not gone to Cancun. So the Eight. higher the... Yeah. Eight. So the higher the room number, the higher the score, huh? Or, or just about. In this case, we are playing yeah. golf, right? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. So let's take a photo. Photo. Oh, a photo. Go, group photo. Everybody look your best. Or your worst or whatever you want to do. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Cheeseburgers. Okay. Groundhog. Okay. So when you got when the picture's taken, what are you guys looking at? Are you looking at the screen or are you actually looking at the camera? I look, at, looking the camera. Looking at the camera. Oh, okay. I look at the camera. camera. Why wouldn't you want to look at the camera? Do you think to do that? Or are you busy <laughs> looking at the pictures on the uh, on the screen? Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. I look at oh, my picture. I've never sure you get my yeah, okay. make sure. I'm just making sure I'm hitting the right button. I do look over at Robin and her ears. Okay. <laughs> so should we I do happy have, birthday anyway. before we take our break? Ignore. Hey, you guys, let's do happy birthday before we take our break, and then we'll take our break. Okay. So we've got we've got birthday for Troy. Ooh. We also have Mike Wolf, who's we forgot. We also have George. Okay. We also have Charles, <laughs> who's um in Ron's group thing somewhere. And then also Cindy's not here, so we'll sing happy birthday to her. So you've got Troy, Cindy, Mike, George, and Charles. So good luck. And remember the rule. One song. When we're singing happy birthday, whatever whatever tune you want, whatever cadence you want, whatever you want. You see, Ron's showing a picture. Okay, here we go. That's so, Charlie. Okay. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to 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 you. Because well, you're George didn't guys. howl, so you know, or I guess we're not that bad. How old is Charles? Yeah, it wasn't How old is Charles Run? Um, 10. Okay, so George is the baby here. All, All right. right, so Aww. five minutes, you guys go and come right yeah. back. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. the camera's still yeah. running, and so is the audio. So, okay, I usually quit after two, but it's early enough that I think I'll uh, stay for one more. <laughs> Good job. John appreciated all the support for this thing. It made him feel better. But it didn't help the sink. And he's no, but it helped to have him be in a good mood because the sink's not going to get fixed till tomorrow. What happened to this? Everybody what happened continue to sending sink? your thoughts and prayers. We, we put the snake down once, but the snake wasn't really working and uh, so he had to kind of take it apart and rebuild it the sink will be fixed tomorrow you'll get to wash your dishes tomorrow That's right <laughs> thank you i'm kind of hungry because i can't cook <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a protein bar? Your kitty has the same coloring as mine. Yeah, she's not feeling too well. So, oh, why? Yeah. Um, we found out on Monday that she has a growth in her nose. And we don't, we're opting not to figure out if it's um, benign or if it's cancerous. So, yeah, it was going to cost $2,000, I think, just to do the CT. And so she's been having bloody noses for like the last two weeks. How old is she? Um, we adopted her in 2016. So they were projecting she was like 10. 
So she's like maybe 16, 17. In human years, she's like close to 80 or 90. So yeah. Yeah. Aww. So she's purring up a storm right now and being cuddled. Aww. That's nice. Yeah. And we got back from from Psycon and mm -hmm. our kitty didn't come back. I'm sorry. So. But he was really old. Yeah, this the vet mentioned. <laughs> um, what was really funny is while we were having the conversation about whether to go through more diagnostics, she was talking about a Chinese herbal medicine that can be used to control bleeding. And I kind of like rolled my eyes a little bit <laughs> because she had it on a shelf with her. But then part of me was like thinking maybe, you know, like researching to see what this medicine is. Like, has it actually been considered useful for palliative type treatments? Because I think like the Skeptic Zone podcast I did with Adrian, it kind of led me to kind of going down the rabbit hole when you have a pet that has you don't want them to hurt, but how do you do this research? You know, how do you make good decisions when like my vet office has products and things in the office that you can buy that has actual no scientific use or efficacy. Like they have feel away, which there's no, there's no research studies to show that product actually works to do what it does for cats that it says it will do. Is there, such, is, there such a yeah. is there such a thing as a placebo for an animal? You can't really yes. have that. Can you? There is. Oh, yes. and, the, really? and the owner's headache stops. And, mm -hmm. and, that's how and you, yeah. I did find myself when she was having kidney issues and pain, like somebody had mentioned using CBD oil. And I didn't like even really consider that because I knew I didn't have the time to like emotionally sit down and look at the information and, and do the research I needed to do to be able to see if this was going to be worth something. But when you're in an emotionally fragile state, like you have a chronically ill pet, you want them to feel comfortable, but you don't want to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on, you know, diagnostics and assessments that really like, because if, if what she has in her nose is cancer, there's nothing we can do about it. Like, I'm not going to put my cat through chemotherapy and radiation when I know the outcome is, is that it's not going to be curable. Like that just doesn't make sense. Yeah. But then how do you, how do you treat the pain and knowing that cats don't tell you that they're in pain. Yeah. And when you're in a desperate situation like that as a pet owner, you yeah. may find yourself giving them the Chinese herbal medicine that the vet says costs like $15 because you think it might help them and you have no way of knowing if it's actually working or not. So I'm going to give a talk to our skeptics group <laughs> after doing a little bit more research and like trying to find some way to set up some guidelines to how you can kind of check yourself when you're in one of these situations so that you are making sound scientific choices, but also compassionate ones for your animal. Because it, it's a hard position to be in when your pet is suffering. Well, if it's, if it's a, a medicine that does nothing, as long as you know you're you can try it and if you know if you don't if it doesn't appear that it's hurting the animal any it may not be helping but it's not hurting well i know that if 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 it if when i sit down and do the research if it's not coming up that it does anything i'm going to ask for gabapentin because i know that works for cats <laughs> even though it tastes awful i know she will be calmed yeah, out and stoned, out and stoned and will be happy <laughs> okay, cats so eat we're cats eat mice minutes. Early cannabis, story. cannabis, cannabis. Actually, okay. cannabis is not good for pets. There's no scientific studies at all to show that cannabis or CBD. Oh, oil I thought that's what you said. Yeah, thought, it doesn't. I, we, Adrian and I looked it up. There's no. No, no. I thought studies. that's what you just said. What did you just say you're going to get for your cat? Gabapentin. Gabapentin. Gabapent. I'm sorry. I thought you said cannabis. Yeah, I got so no, it, by the way. no, I'm going to give my cat Neurotin, liquid Neurotin, which tastes like shit. And I. You tasted it? Yes, because they gave it to me before my surgery and it tastes like it tastes awful. And if you want something that tastes similarly, go to Chicago and get a bottle of something called Malort. 
No, thank you. Or just oh, Lord, positive. that is a. You know what I'm talking about, Alex? No. Oh, Lord, it's a Chicago-based yeah, Chicago. style liqueur. And it's like we had a friend that brought it over Thanksgiving, and everybody had to take a shot of it. And it literally tastes like liquid gabapentin. It's it's awful. It is. I don't know why it, anybody would want to drink this, but apparently it's a rite of passage when you go to Chicago, is you have to get a shot of this awful. I've thing. never heard of this. I lived there twenty five yes. years. I think, yeah, I must have missed, <laughs> I I missed Chicago, that one. No one you, ever you, you're not it. cool enough. You're not <laughs> in Chicago, and if you haven't had it, <laughs> okay. Also, I'm calling, when I'm calling uh, order back, you guys, I'm in charge. <laughs> Shut up, everybody. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I love you people, but I'm done. We have a, have a drink, Susan. We want yeah. these yeah. to go to bed on a, on a good time. So we'll start with Adrian. Yeah. Adrian, what's going on in the skeptic zone or what's going on? If Lord is getting to a point where we're going to have to start asking Adrian what she's got going because she's getting, she's everywhere. I think she's going to be on the board of a golf club here. I swear. <laughs> we'll know. Yeah, we'll week. see. <laughs> we'll see. What's going to happen with the golf thing? Everybody wants um, a piece of Adrian. That's what the segment's <laughs> called. Uh, uh, Adrian, are you going to be running for uh, what um, uh, your local uh, parliament soon? I think she should run for president, vice president, or something. We don't in have president in Canada. I'd vote for her. Uh, run yeah. for um, Canada uh, is uh, un unprecedented. Un un get get appointed as as the whatever the the um, the governor of canada thingy governor, governor general oh, she could be queen of canada like uh like ramana there we go okay go ahead Adrian. sorry <laughs> yeah so on the skeptic zone uh i will be and richard richard and i will be talking about cryptozoology crypto so oh, say it wrong today cryptozoology on wikipedia and the top 10 viewed pages in the last month essentially <laughs> As well as uh, someone we kind of all know. I think her name is Susan. Let me see. Susan Gerbeck. Am I on the next one? No I wonder think, Susan okay. was into this announcement. <laughs> hey, you guys. Here's Mark. Hi, Hi Mark. Hi, Mark. Hey, Mark. Hey, Mark. How many yeah. you got tonight? Hey, Mark. 31, I see. Good, good number. Like close to 30. Yeah, so I looked at the chicken in the store today. I just can't bring myself to spend twenty dollars for it when you got yours free. Oh, <laughs> chicken is expensive all of a sudden, and, huh? And really yeah, expensive. that's our new. Uh, something I heard something house. about uh, some sort of bird flu got going through the chicken ranches. Uh, yeah, a few, yes. a few several months ago. I mean, people were squawking about the eggs, but boy, the chicken is expensive. Avi, stay awake. <laughs> Bye, Mark. Stay awake. <laughs> oh, I'm being dismissed. Oh, I thought you were leaving. Okay, Adrian. Adrian. So, yeah, I'm interviewing Susan about her workshops that she has oh, held. Oh, that's coming up. That's right. Yes, yes. I, I think I'm pretty sure he's going to put it on this week. He didn't say he. The following to. week is the other one, right? The other one. When's the anniversary? Oh, yeah, that's coming up too. This what was um? Because that's when the Harriet Hall one's running. Yeah, that's right. So that would be because we he just did the 747. So this would be 746. So I think it's the 770th so episode where he's doing the Harriet I Hall. So. I can't remember. Some round oh. number. Uh, yeah. I just do what I'm told. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Kyle. Hey, hey. I hear you have a podcast. I do indeed. This week on Data Skeptic, we're knee deep in our topic all about surveys, exploring survey responses and methodologies from a data science perspective. On this particular week, it involves cats. Uh, we're looking, talking to one researcher who's trying to figure out ways to increase the response rate when he sends out an email saying, please participate in our survey, and the use of a cat as a technique for improving that and how effective it is. That's this week like, on Data Skeptic. Like, like adding cats on. Oh, yeah, yeah felines oh, yeah hey when you interviewed me too so when does that come out a couple weeks that's coming out either two or three weeks out in fact susan helped me design a survey that you can take right now at survey.dataskeptic.com and a couple others we launched we're liking to solicit everybody's opinions and sharing some of the results on the air or if you just take it at the end of the survey we tell you what everybody else said too all right you guys you better do your surveys or else <laughs> easy 
It's fun. And I want to see what your results are. Good job. Thank you, Kyle. Thank um, you. Rob, you had something? Yeah, I just put the link in. Uh, it's a yet another promotion of the Greater Stellian Psychic Prediction Project. This one was outside the choir a little bit. It was for AIPT, uh, the website, Science, and it's uh, it was the first one out for uh, Darwin Month. Very good. I love the idea of this. Is a tell? Can you tell everybody what that website is about? Well, generally, it's popular culture. So you know, it's people who are interested in movies and uh, and online games and things like that. <laughs> so, like when we write the articles regarding skepticism in science, we try to work in a little bit of that. So like in this one, I started out with, you know, talking about fictional psychics and, you know, what you can find fictional psychics all over the place, but does this translate to the real world? And then I, then I went into our results for the uh, prediction project. So it's, it's, it's a kind of a little bit out of, it's a nerd kind of place, you know, with comic strips and so I wasn't I, going to use that word, Susan. But uh, I could still use that word. But it's 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 a way of getting a little bit more of this message of critical thinking outside the choir to some extent because yep. they're kind of a there's kind of a, a lap you know overlap of um, yep in the worlds. But it's great. It's a great little effort. It's done by Ross Dobler, right, from the New York City Skeptic. Yeah, he's the he's the editor for the science and the skepticism section. Yeah. So and the other good. thing I did this week, just before this, and I really was on a high uh, today, I interviewed God, uh, uh, Mr. Deity, uh, for, for CFI, and I did it in two parts. I actually interviewed him as uh, the, the human, and uh, then I had 20 minutes of my own Mr. Deity section asking him questions about, like, why are we so effed up in this world? It was, Mr. Deity is wonderful, It was guys. really cool. If you have not seen the Mr. Deity uh, videos, they're freaking hilarious it's brian keith dalton really nice guy if somebody puts a link up in in here you might want to check them out they're very short very fun yeah i'll do i'll do that really fun stuff yeah, so I'll go back to the beginning i have um so i'm letting everybody know i have a workshop coming up on saturday it is the first <laughs> lesson so if you've already done this you do not have to do this one well you, nobody has to do it but i'm doing <laughs> trying to do the same workshop over and over and over again to get a big enough group of people so that I can start rolling out the second lesson. So if you if you want to come, it's this Saturday at I think 11 my time. And then I will be doing these probably I can do them if you can guarantee you're going to have a group of maybe seven people or so five to seven people that you're sure are going to show up. I'll be happy to do it at a different time for you. And that way, uh, you know, we can just keep keep doing the same lesson over and over and over and over and over again. Carolyn? Yes. So I enjoyed it. Um, I think the greatest thing about it was that we did interact with each other. We did some role playing of how we can be that person people come to um, when they hear fringy, weird things. Um, and also, she, we had some homework that you could or could not do. I think it was helpful to read the articles that she suggested. Um, and they're great for a resource to use in the future as you are trying to become that person <laughs> that people come to when they have weird beliefs that they have. Yeah, it's a really good workshop. It's worth it. And I hope you do it again, Susan, because I want to tell my class about it, but it doesn't start until next Wednesday. Okay. So I can't tell them until Wednesday. Well, I can always run them again. It's not a problem for me to just, if I know I'm going to have a group of people doing it, you could pick the day and time you want to do it and I'll do it. That's not a problem. So here it's in the link is in the uh, show in the mess in the chat. So please show up. It's fun. It's it. You can see it's got a bunch of Brussels sprouts as the main picture on it. So, you know, you're on the right page if you've got a bunch of Brussels sprouts on there. And then last, last but not least, I've got um, <laughs> one of my cats is snoring. Oh, now they're about to hiss at each other. So here's the most recent article I wrote, which is three case studies of, and it kind of fits with the workshops, trying to be, trying to think about why it is people have these weird beliefs. A lot of, instead, you know, don't just assume they're stupid or something. There's probably a reason behind it. And the reason might actually make some kind of sense, to, at least in their world. So um, 
I, I'm, I'm exploring the idea of why people might have these odd beliefs and why they're so resistant to change, even when the evidence is right there in front of them. And then here's the Harriet Hall article that is still out. And last but not least, I just got up early this morning, early for me. I had an interview with Slate Magazine. So a reporter who's writing an article on, the cats are growling each other, writing an article on the uh, how Wikipedia deals with cryptids. So he's, he interviewed me for a little over an hour. So he says that might be a paragraph <laughs> when it comes out. <laughs> it should be out next week. So that was kind of fun, but he he really asked me a lot of questions. He goes, he says, I can see lots of different articles I can go to with you, you know, to other stuff. Apparently he interviewed me about five years ago. I don't remember it, but he said he used me in another article. I don't remember. <laughs> so I don't know. Slate Magazine, that's next week. I'll give you links whenever you did it. Okay, that's it, right, guys? Yay! Yay! Good job. We managed to get through another thing. All right. So here we go. We have next up is Vincent. Vincente. 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 Vincenzo. Oh, hey, you guys get along. There is a chair is big enough for both of you. You do not have to sit there and growl. I mean, my goodness, it's a, it's a chair that's just two cats. They've only Mark and the cat not getting along. Years. <laughs> Get that's along. it so uh for this i prefer not to have people muted and you'll see why uh, okay where is it um right here i will put the uh not team what is it called again Geez, I'm getting tired. Category. Sorry. Category. That's it. That's it. Groner musicals. I like musicals. Oh. No, Is you Groner like musicals? It. Yeah. You, I'm pretty sure you won't like this. <laughs> but, hey. Thanks. We're in all the Thanks musicals. No. Thanks in advance. <laughs> what they're, all, they're all ones with dad jokes. I'm guessing you don't have to market. <laughs> you'll you'll see. Okay, God, I hope this works. Are you gonna play music, Vincent? No. Okay. I wouldn't be that. Because if you cruel. do, then I have to I have to uh, mute the um the recording. No, Otherwise, I he's going to sing the songs himself. <laughs> hey, it worked. Oh, it did? Okay. Oh, okay, work on extensions. Work on extensions to the Yellow Brick Road had fallen way behind schedule. The Munchkin work crews refused to even contemplate starting on the Emerald City bypass until issue until the issue of their stuff, scratchy work clothes was addressed. Work finally resumed when a new lightweight and soft drill uniforms were issued. A contented spokesman munchkin commented, we're happy to work now. A, Dorothy promised to stop singing. B, Toto stopped eyeing up our legs. C, <laughs> The tin, man's, the tin man's lent us his hip flask, I mean, oil can. <laughs> uh, <laughs> e, we're not in canvas anymore. <laughs> so which one would fit with this is what I'm, is oh, what. Oh, good Lord. I see the groaners now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it gets better. Uh, but only. I'm not sure we agree on the meaning of that word. <laughs> <laughs> Musicals or groaners? Inconceivable. There is no value left at absolute zero. That is not 
Inconceivable is not a musical. Positions have been announced for Team Oz, the latest franchise in the musical baseball league. The Cowardly Lion will play in the outfield as far as possible. And the Tin Man with that weird arm action is obvious choice for pitcher. Dorothy is perhaps more of a surprise being named as catcher, but as the feisty brunette explained, there's no plate <laughs> like home. B, I love to squat, gotta crouch. C, I have terrible acne, I need the mask. Or D, <laughs> Those little hand signals to the pitcher are so cute. What <laughs> fits with with this one? So, alrighty. Uh, and I worked really, really super hard on. It, so <laughs> I didn't, but yes, <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> Copying and pasting from that website. Was, well, uh, yeah. <laughs> hard work, you know. That's that's about the extent of it. That's how hard I worked on it. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, copy, and it's copying and pasting wonderfully. So I love it. I love it. Things are looking a little ratty around Oz. Toto's got mange. Scarecrow's being forced to make do with last week's straw. And Dorothy's slippers are missing some rubies. What could possibly be the reason? The, pop, the prop department's on strike. Somewhere, where, <laughs> over the rainbow. <laughs> Studios only spend money on animation these days. The munchkins got the munchies, which kind of fits with, with this one. That's <coughs> uh, number four. And then it goes to a different, um, a different uh, musical that you'll see when I post it. Uh, based. Maria, fresh from a battle with a Von Tra of uh, Captain Von Trapp over acceptable ways ways to raise children, picks up her guitar for a soothing <laughs> sing along, but tragedy. After the first strum, the A, E, and G twang and curl back on themselves mockingly, and Maria begins to sob. Why is she so upset? A, she has taken a vow of poverty and can't afford to buy replacements. B, there's a war on guitar strings are rationed and she's out of coupons. C, you can't make guitar strings out of old curtains. D, those were a few of her favorite strings. <laughs> <laughs> and this one's a bit difficult, but uh, you'll figure it out. The precocious Von Trapp children have tired of pulling silly pranks with spiders and uh, moved into modern age. 
They've got themselves a computer and written a little sound file, which will overdub the movie soundtrack every time somebody says the name of their governess. They hit a snag when they got to uh, storing it onto their hard drive, though. What was their dilemma? A. How do you save a program like my rear? <laughs> B. Their father found out and made them all sing 35 courses of Edelweiss before <laughs> dinner. C. They got worried about their G rating. D. They ran into a copyright issue with producers of The Brady Bunch. There is a joke in there, but uh, I don't know where it is. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, this one is the shortest one. Copy. I might sing this one, I don't know. <laughs> All that frolicking in the mountains and running around on mountain and run. All the frolicking in fountains and running around on mountains has taken its toll. Maria caught a cold, and it swiftly, swiftly passed to the captain and then through all the Von Trapp children. So for the moment, the hills are alive uh, with the sound of chewing, belching, swallowing, or mucus. <laughs> Which one kind of fits? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I'm glad you're liking these. They get better. <laughs> yeah, they really do. Define better. <laughs> There's only one way up. Uh, does it, I don't think that word means what you think it means. <laughs> <sighs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things many people don't know about Cop Captain Van Trapp is that he collects unusual animals from all the ports his ship visits around the world. What is the prize of his collection so far? <laughs> 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 a Dora Deer? A Bordeaux Border Collie? A Hull Gull? Or an Os Oslo Ocelet? <laughs> Os Oslo Ocelet. Ocelet. Okay. My pronunciation. <laughs> I'm glad you're liking these. Don't worry. <laughs> I have to teach you what selection bias is. <laughs> People who aren't liking it aren't laughing. I like it. I think it's clever. It's good. Do they deserve laughter or groans? The, the yes. Both. Well, we're, both. Hoping, we're hoping both. But... A little bit of both. Over at Rydell High, Danny Zuko's English essay on <clears throat> Romeo and Juliet has not been well received. He's been called to see Principal McGee and explain why he has included slabs of text without inverted commas, some of it not even Shakespeare, and if he really thinks it's appropriate to graphically compare that hot chick Juliet's assets to those of Annette Funit. Punicello. Punicello. Miss McGee's final comment before telling him to try again was perhaps request to present essay as song and dance number at diner denied. B, tried to spend five minutes with the smart Australian girl without launching into a song about your car. C, more time on the homework, less time on the air. Or D, hopelessly misquoted. <laughs> the blue. <laughs> okay. 
and you kind of have to know the uh, movie in order to know what the answer is. Whoops, damn it, pressing the wrong key. Danny Zuko was forced to undertake much embarrassed combing of greasy hair when he failed his history final. It was pointed out that the essay section, he, he had medieval warriors fighting for ancient Mesop Mesopotamian culture in his composition entitled those Sumer Knights. Did Sir Galahad ride on the back of the Assyrian? Babylon, tell me more. Um, Uruk, Kamala, uh, Camelot of the Middle East. <laughs> yeah. Just, and well, the last course. one. Yes. And the last one, which, you know, is the best one, I think, but you know, I don't know. <laughs> Least bad. Oh, shoot. I did cut instead of copy. Oh, oh well. Um, I had to go quickly. Uh, oh, that should be 10. Just put that as 10. Olivia Newton-John had already been cast in Greece and auditions for her co-star were in full swing. No sooner had Mr. Travolta walked into the room when Olivia jumped up and cried, stop the auditions. Then she turned to Travolta and said, aren't you Arnold Horshack? B, <laughs> you're the John that I want. <laughs> Got a license to fly that thing? D, would you like a free personality test? <laughs> <laughs> oh, good Lord. <laughs> oh, I, you know, I just, I, I searched and searched and searched and searched for like maybe, you know, five minutes and um, <laughs> what I found. All so, right, you guys, let's go to our right room. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> we'll see how we do. Um, <laughs> okay, oh. Kevin's here. Kevin's officially here. Thanks, hey, Kevin. Abby. You're wonderful. Rob, you are in. What room are you in? Send me to the losers. <laughs> That's I'm, in room, I'm in room Rob's one. Rob's one. Okay, so you did Troy go two? yet? You're going to two. Did Troy go yet? Yeah. Which cat was round? Oh, this is this is Vincent's round. I know. Oh did yeah, Troy go Troy Oh yeah, Troy, Troy went. Did fabulous. Those are great good. questions. Everybody loved it. She did. A That's really the one good. I I kind of checked out. Yeah, for I know. We were like, okay, That's everybody, good. if this is sucks, and then it's Kevin's fault. She hit, and then did a good job with the answers, and she more did than a I expected. Wonderful job. They were way great. than I expected. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So am I gonna? Uh huh. Hi, team. Hey, hey. Oh, hi. oh okay. We should start back from the beginning, Jim. Okay. Um, because yeah, we're already up to number four, Susan. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. So for okay, number so one. Number one. Number one. Um, we we believe that it's we're not in canvas anymore. So I like the, that one. Yeah. Number two, we believe it is. Um, there's, there's no plate no, like probe. Yep, for a, there's so no plate a. like probe. Uh, somewhere over the rainbow, B. B. Three. Yep. Three, and then there's got to be, those were a few of her favorite strings. Yes. Uh -huh. um, Four. Five. Um, um, <clears throat> how, how do you, do you save, save a program a... like my rear? <laughs> I don't know. I don't understand how it has to do with the the. What, uh, um... see, my what, what my you... problem with this one is that that's what the captain sings, not what the children. Okay. Well, in the in the in the musical, 
there's a, a, uh, the nuns say, how do you solve a problem like Maria? I thought the captain sings that. Is it, no. is it the no. nun? I've oh, never okay. seen it. Okay. So, but this says the children are sing are singing it, right? Yeah, I don't think we need to worry about that. It's oh, it's, okay. it's just yeah. I, okay. Um, five, yeah, yeah. Five A fits. <laughs> okay. Five, five A. A. Oh A. Okay. How do you save a program like my rear? I don't get yeah. it. I didn't How do you save a program like problem? Maria? Maria. Because <laughs> the the song is called How do you how do you say, fix a problem like Maria? Oh, okay. I guess it makes song. sense. If you, yeah, okay. The hills are alive with the sound of you. You guess. You guess. That's, yeah. yeah, I got that one. I, it's in seven, I think, is A. A, a, do, a do, a dear. Yeah. Yeah, a do. Do, my dear. A do, okay. ha, dear. <laughs> now, the next ones are all Greece related, right? Yes. So... So again, hope the hopelessly misquoted, it to would you. be the answer except for who the person who is singing it would be. Uh, again, I don't think that matters for this. Just okay. we're thinking too much. You're thinking too much about it. Okay. <laughs> so D for okay. A. Because nothing else fits that tone of. Uh, yeah. There's nothing else is a pun. Rob, Rob texts to me, says, these are all arbitrary answers. They're all, just, <laughs> they're, they're all puns. Yes, of yeah. course. There's got to be a. a of course, uh, every city in the in the Middle East has a camel lot. <laughs> I don't get it. Yeah. A cam a camel lot a camel, camel lot. lot. You use camel lot. But the answer, but anyways, is, even the so, answer for number a. nine, for number nine, the summer nights. I think that's what it is, A. Yeah. Those summer nights. I hate that show, Grease. <laughs> For number 10, yeah. um, I love... You're the Anthony John D. that I want. Uh, yeah, um, but I love D. It's not correct, but oh, I yeah, love... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't get like it. Can you explain it? Scientology. Yeah, I know, but I just still don't get it. Um. Uh, Travolta is a Scientologist. Uh, yeah, Scientology, one of the ways they try and hook you in is by offering you a personality test. Oh. Yeah, that's the first thing that you walk up, if you see them on the sidewalk, they're like, oh, you must have a personality test. It's like the first I thing. I didn't know that. <laughs> now you know. I didn't either until I listened to Oh No, Russ and Carrie. Oh, yeah. It's it's like uh, when you're walking down the street, it's a free personality test. Okay, but the punny, but the punny one... I'm not as familiar with Greece, so uh, so, so which 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 is the punny? Well, one? see, number one is a You're reference to the fact that, that he was in woo, woo, woo. Welcome Back, Cotter. Number two is yeah, what Susan was singing. Oh, you didn't yeah. want to sing it, Jane? No, <laughs> You're the one that. I so it's the John. I, I don't get numbers. I don't get C. I don't get what that means. Yeah. Oh, got a license to fly the thing. He's he he's in Top Gun. John Travolta. Mm -hmm. Really? Uh, no, no, no. Tom Hanks. No, I don't know. Some other guy. <laughs> Tom Cruise. Tom Hanks is definitely Tom not. Cruise, Tom yeah, Gun. Tom Cruise is the other scientist. I get them all confused. The oh, same. that's probably what he meant. Yeah, because they're both Scientologists. Well, I I don't know. I guess the answer is B. I think so because it's you're the John that I want. Yeah. So Kyle, did you say you were going to put a survey thing in here, a skip on it, or is it on here and I don't see it? No, no, I'm going to add it. In fact, I'm adding it right now. It'll be there okay. later tonight. I want it now. I want to do it now. I appreciate it, but I got to code it up. I want to go and do my survey. I want to see how that oh, came out. No. Boom, boom, boom. So very clever, you guys. Everything, everything great? Everything yeah. great? Yeah, we did good, I think. Yes. You guys are doing good uh, points-wise, right? Well, not in Canvas no. anymore. No. <laughs> no plate like crow. You're better like than Chrome. the last team, which I was on, which was eight. And you guys have 11. <laughs> you're, not, you're tied for second Somewhere place. Somewhere over the rainbow. Any music fan, musical fans here? Yeah, I love musicals. We're going to see, my uh, family and I are going to see Big Fish, the musical, on Sunday. I've heard of it. 
Big Fish uh, is a musical? Yeah, it was first a book, I think, then it was a movie. And now it's a musical. That might be really good. I'm it. holding out for the video game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is it is it a Dr. Seuss? Is it Big Fish? No. Blue Fish? It's, Red Fish? It's, I mean, it is surrealist, but it's not a... Um, uh, a Dr. Seuss. No idea. Leonard's a big musical fan. You guys didn't know that. Really? I or would not have expected that. He loves musicals. Musicals are his favorite. I like them too. They're fun. But then I know people who hate them with a passion. Well, those people are wrong. I think Caspian can't stand him. Well, can't he's wrong. Him. It's like, why is everybody singing all at once? Yeah. <laughs> why are they all dancing? What is that point? I don't get the point of that. Wouldn't it be great if life were like that in reality? No. We all broke out into song. Yeah, and, and, we, and, and we all moved in 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 unison. You know, isn't, that, isn't there a Buffy episode, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, where they all break out into a musical songs? I think so. That yeah, one of the things they get. I can't believe I remember that. I've only seen Buffy once, but they all break out. We could do that. On, we could do it. We could do that here on trivia. We could all practice every week. We could do it. We could stay later. We could practice. A song. We're gonna break out. Into, I'm gonna suggest it. But pick yeah, one person to not tell. What's that called? <laughs> when they do Rob. that like in a mall or something. He's listening to this video now. <laughs> I think that's fun. All right, you guys, great job. Thank you. We finished it quick for some. For yeah, that was great. Here's one that's not really a pun, but I I thought it there for for the Canadians in the room. Just look at this this part. <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah um, oh yeah <laughs> all right are we back so uh my team that was on, rear, is that what we're showing? yeah i like what was with the butts the presidential the, the rear. canada side of the mount rushmore oh yeah. <laughs> well, Kevin. Oh, Ke it's official now. Kevin's back, so he's yes. on camera. Okay, so what we decided in my team that I was on is that we want to start. We're going to practice a musical here. So every week we got to come up. We got to come up with a musical so we can practice it every week. So we can. So we can all of a sudden like burst into song, and everybody's got to. We got to. We all have to do our own little. I have a good idea. We only burst into song when Susan says. Three, two, one, go. And then we start, you know what I mean? And you could do it anytime, Randy, during the night. Yeah, but we just, um, but just but don't, we don't we tell Rob. <laughs> no, you gotta, <laughs> we do we got to pick do next week's song. This copyrighted material because nobody would be able to figure it out anyway, the way we yeah, think. We got to pick thing. next week's song and then like someone's got to count us down like, I want two, three, four. And then we have to do it when they do it. You but know what, what I mean? What song is it? I don't get I it. I don't know. We got to pick one for next week. Oh. Did you hear "Happy Birthday" tonight? You really want another song? Yeah, that's really? true, Kevin. We did "Happy Birthday" tonight. Maybe Birthday. somebody should write a theme song for trivia. Quick, do me. Oh, Caspian, that's a great idea. I volunteer you. I have no mm -hmm. musical talent. You play the drums, isn't it? Yeah, so you I could do it. Yes, a I'm sure spoken. I could write a drum themed. Uh, <laughs> yeah, do a spoken word. Day, we could do time mm -hmm. warp again. Oh, yeah, I love the time warp, but we could do like Let's on the do desk, the time warp and we could all have our own yeah. hand movement. Okay, anyway, okay, Vincent, but that was fun. What do you got? But the, but the time right. warp is uh, is for uh, uh, when we switch between daylight and uh, standard time, oh. time warp weekend. Oh, when yes. Rob does a category on time travel, <laughs> so uh, D. Our number one is D. We're not in canvas anymore. Very good. Yes. Uh, two A. There's no plate like home. Three B. Somewhere over the rainbow. <laughs> number four. Or a few of her Those were a few of her favorite strings. <laughs> Five A. How do you save a program like my rear? <laughs> I the never would have gotten that. I didn't with the sound of music. Six C mucus. By the way, <laughs> before you go on, Vincent, I told you there was going to be dad joke in this somewhere. 
Look at the answers to four, five, and six. Yep, dad. Time right. He got his dad <laughs> joke in. <Yeah. laughs> and six, seven, and eight. And six, yep. seven, and eight. Yep. Dad, dad. Well, dad, dad, dad may be a little damp, so you need to dab, dab, a dab. <laughs> dab, dab, a dab. So six, D, mucus. Uh, seven, A, Adora Deer. Eight, D, hopelessly misquoted to blue. I'm only singing the ones that I know. <laughs> Nine, A, those yeah. super nights. Ten, B, you're the John that I want. You got me. That's it. You, yes, indeed. Very good, oh, Vincent. Vincent. Enjoyed that. Well, there yeah, was I actually good. enjoyed it. It wasn't very groaner. Not very <laughs> oh, good. I tried. I thought there was going to be more groans. That was clever. And we got it done fast, too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. So let's see. Groundhog said. We get more, six more weeks of George Santos. Ten. What? Good enough to keep Huck's us in Tommy last. Show is George Santos' new drag name. We got ten also. And Netflix scoff a -laws. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's for the You're wrong right, group. Kyle. We got ten anyway, Kyle. We You're just right, Kyle. <laughs> All right. I was confident in the you gun. guys. I believe in you. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind the trivia. Shouldn't we be helping Janine with her sink? Ten. <laughs> Texas storm can't be that bad because Cruz has not gone to Canada. Yeah, One. Right? Ten. Oh. Ten. Ten. Yes. Ten. That's Everybody totally what they got. Ten? That's the average. Wow. It. it was too easy. It was too easy. Okay. Oh. Too easy. Anyway. We got uh, well. to make it tougher, Vincent. Mm. But that was fun. Yeah. Okay, Mike, where are you hiding oh, out at? Anyway, I'm glad you liked it. We lost Jim. Well, at least he's stuck in Jim. round three. That's great. See you next Do week. We, um, thanks. Do we have any idea what happened to uh, James? Next, yeah. Yeah, we're two weeks from now. I'll be uh, next week. I'll be I'll be doing the book club. <laughs> ah, whatever. Come over when it's done. We'll still be here. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night, Good night. Good night Carolyn. Hi, Carolyn. No, Is don't worry. I'm not. I'm not you're offended right that you're ditching my category, everyone. That's you're fine. right in the middle, and I didn't see you. Like Mike Wolf was next. Come on, everyone. <laughs> I'm like, where's Mike? Yay, Mike! This is another super simple category. It's kind of just similar Yay. to my last one that I was doing, but uh, am I up? Yeah, you are. Thank you, Jamie. All righty, let's see what we can find here. And what? this week's category is celebrities that have the same name as other celebrities. <laughs> oh. Okay. So, uh, hold a second. There is my text here. All right. Sometimes two famous people have the same name. The clues in this category have brief descriptions or an example of what a famous person is known for, for two famous people with the same name. They all sound alike, but sometimes are not spelled the same. Sometimes the name is the person's second or original name. Like Reginald Dwight is Elton John's real name. So if there was another famous Reginald Dwight, that might be an answer. Okay, I'm going to pause. I'm going to mute people in five, four, three, two, one. Mike, you need to unmute yourself. Oh, yes, indeed. All right, I'm unmuted. Yay. All right, number one. The Office and Brooklyn Nine-Nine, and also a president's brother-in-law. Number two, 
physicist, and uh, the movie broadcast news. Number three. I have a question. Yeah. Are we having like a first and last name and they both match like John Yes, Jones? They, they both have the same first and last name. First and last name, okay. Um, the Ant-Man movies, an asterisk talk show host with an asterisk and a bonus for this one, one of those, uh, an actor who was in one of those Spider-Man movies, but you might want to disregard that last third one of those and concentrate on the first two. Number four is a boy band brother, which means it's the brother of someone in a boy band and also the host of Temptation Island. Num number five, the movie Ocean's Eight and also the wife of a famous playwright. We're going to go from all tens to all zeros. <laughs> These are all, once you figure them out, you'll figure them out. Six, a Revolutionary War naval hero and uh, someone who performed on the song Where the Le When the Levee Breaks. Seven, Hen uh, Henry VIII, one of Henry VIII's wives and a TV Western heroine. Number eight, the movie The Sand Pebbles and the movie, and someone involved with the movie ten, 12 Years a Slave. And number nine, Rock and Roll Over, which I think is an album name, and the movie Guys and Dolls. And number 10, the TV show Parks and Recreation and a golfer. And there you go. All right, Mike. Thank you for making them quickish. Here we go. Bill, you are in oh. four. And that's where I'm going to four. Well, I have the ability yeah, to go. Have, do you have them? There we go. Jane Seymour is the. Yeah, and we all got Jane Seymour, I think. Hello, okay. everyone. And John? I'm in the wrong room. Why am I in this room? Where do you want to be? Because you probably <laughs> left. You didn't. You didn't leave. Because yeah, because you were when you. This was the last room you were in when you had right, control. Right. I still okay, have so, control, so I'm gonna. I'll put, yeah, I'll just put go. myself back in the right room. I forget that we just said that answer. Yeah, I know. I know number two. What's that? Albert Einstein. Albert Albert Brooks. Yeah. Who's in broadcast news is named Albert Einstein. His real name is Albert Einstein. Good oh, one. Right. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Sand Pebbles, 12 Years a Slave, Steve McQueen. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Gene Seymour is number seven. Yeah. Uh -huh. there's, there, there's two Steve McQueens. Yeah. Yep. The director and, you know, the real Steve McQueen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which one I always thought say? that they had to put they had to put an initial or something to differentiate if there's somebody in well, yeah. the you know. yeah under under um, SAG I think you have to register a unique name that's why oh. David Hyde Hyde White because there was already a name so yeah. which uh, Bill did you just say number nine number nine no oh which one did you just number just number eight Steve McQueen. Okay, yeah. I saw, heard you say that, and then I thought you had another one after that. No. Jane Seymour, I guess. Yeah, that's seven, yeah. Okay, so we know oh, yeah. three of them right now. Albert Einstein, Jane Seymour, and Steve McQueen. Oh, Revolutionary War. Uh, 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 oh, Revolutionary War, not Nelson. Uh, or no, is Nelson, John Paul Nelson Jones. What is it? John Paul Jones is the only revolutionary oh, yeah, naval war. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah that's it. He, yeah. Was, he was in... Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
You know what? He missed one. You know what he could have picked? Mark Wilson. <laughs> the famous musician and the famous mentalist. <laughs> Both Mark Wilsons. Honestly. Boy Brand Good. brother could be one of the Jonas brothers. Wasn't there a boy uh, band, um, a guy who just recently died and his brother was in a boy band and the guy who died was also doing singing on the side and it's, it, it was a young man, like 27, you know, the kill age. I remember the just news like story. last year. Yeah. And his brother was on a boy band. It was like. You guys remember this? It just happened. Last nope. Year. <laughs> um, if it is the Jonas Brothers, no, it wasn't the Jonas Brothers. It was a. Well, look, this is my team. How are we doing? But we're you think about out. that, Susan? We'll, we're we'll, we're we out. might get a four. Okay. Oh, wait. wait. Boy which boy is better band, than I thought we were gonna do. Boy band. I'm serious. There was a guy who just died, very young. And he was, a, he did singing on his own. He died of like, he just imploded. He had tattoos all over his body. And people were like, well, you know, we thought he was, he cleaned up his act. He was doing okay. And yeah. Then, and then he did. And then it was like, he went downhill and he killed himself. I think it was something that happened, but he was very young. And his claim to fame was he was a singer on his own, but he just messed up his life. But his brother was his famous brother from NSYNC. You mean Timberlake? No, it was, it was, I came up with a boy band, NSYNC. So I don't know anything about NSYNC. I don't even know if I can spell it correctly, but his Justin little Timberlake, brother Joey killed, Fatone. died. I think his name was Connor. Connor? I bet that's hey, that It doesn't mean it's the right boy band. You came up with a boy band and that I've was great. I've never right. heard of Temptation Island. I think, well, maybe I've heard of it. That's about as Does anybody life. watch that show? <laughs> never watched a I single episode I of might have watched show. a trailer. <laughs> is that Jeff Probst? Is it the same guy from Survivor who does that? I don't think so because I think Jeff Probst is too old now. He's let's old. let's put a pin in that one. We're we're spinning yeah, a little out of control yeah, now. Yeah, so on the Office in Brooklyn Nine Nine, does anybody remember somebody who was in both of those shows? I've never seen either of them. Me neither. The the black guy who's a really good actor. The black guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what um, I'm. He and he's really good. He used to be on. Um, Jamie. On the side. Wait. Andre Brower. That's a weird Brower, name. But that's yeah. not going to be. But that's yeah, not the president's brother-in-law, is it? The president's brother-in-law. It's a black guy. It's going to be Michelle Obama's. What's Michelle Obama's maiden name? Anybody well, why does it have to be a black guy? Just it's because it's that guy was in the office, I think, and in Brooklyn. Michelle, her name was Henderson, was it? Michelle. You're right. It doesn't have to be a Michelle, black Michelle, I thought her mother's last name was Robinson. Yeah, Robinson. Yeah. 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 Oh, Craig. Robinson. Craig Robinson. He was in the office in Brooklyn 999, isn't he? Or Brooklyn 99? Craig Robinson, big black guy. <laughs> okay. Craig Robinson. Sure. Okay. So that would be Michelle's brother. We think. Yep. It is now. Yeah. We changed his name. Yeah, we did. Ant-Man. Ant-Man is Paul, what's his name? Rudd. Paul. Rudd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are there two Paul Rudds? Is there a talk show host? Never heard of a talk show host, Paul Rudd. He might have been originally, or maybe Paul Rudd's original name was the same as the talk show host. With, I think there was a talk show host named Rudd with the last name Rudd. Might be using a different name. And and Paul Rudd's real name might be the same as the talk show host. That sounds good. But what name are we going to use? Are we going to use Paul Rudd or some other name? Well, the only name we can think of right now is Paul Rudd. So put that down and then change it if you come up with the other one. Is there a talk well, show host? What about Phil Donahue or... Oh. Think of another Sally Jeffy Jesse Raphael. <laughs> I don't Mike know. Davis. Geraldo Rivera. Is there yeah. somebody is there anybody named Mike Davis? There's David Frost. Or Mike Douglas. No, Mike. What was who was the yeah, guy back in the, 
Mike Douglas. Michael Mike Douglas, Michael. yeah. No, but there was a talk show host name. Yeah, Mike Douglas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Mike Douglas. Mike Douglas. Is there a Mike Douglas? Is he an Ant Man? Is is the Ant Man cartoon? Does he have an alter ego called Mike Douglas? Who played no. the Ant Man? Paul Rudd. Oh. Oh. Um. No, in Ant Man. Uh. Yeah. 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 Mike Douglas. Uh. Kirk Douglas's son, Mike. Michael, Michael Douglas. Douglas. Michael Douglas. Mike yeah. Douglas. Yeah, it's Mike. Michael Douglas. Michael, Michael Douglas. Michael. Mike Douglas. Yeah, one went by Michael. That Mike Douglas was the talk show host back in the '60s. You had, you had to be. Yeah. There. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. Good. Okay. Good. So. Okay, we'll come back to the boy band once Susan gets the answer. I think it's Connor <laughs> yeah. or something. And we have um, Ocean's Eight famous playwright. Playwright's wife. Playwright wife. Was it Nor Norman Ma Mailer's wife? So the, so the name. So the last name is Mailer. I just I'm just thinking out loud. But that would be right. So if there's an Ocean's yeah. Eleven, Ocean's was, Eight, that was um, the last name Mailer. Um, what's your name? Somebody who was married to. Stop grinning, Mike. Stop grinning. Yeah. Marilyn Famous Monroe. Famous playwright. Marilyn yeah, Marilyn Monroe, Monroe was married to a famous playwright. Yeah, or, was married uh, to Norman Mailer. Mailer. Oh, Arthur, Arthur Miller. Arthur Miller. Arthur Miller, Miller. Arthur Miller. Arthur Miller right. A more and famous so playwright. So his wife could be Marilyn Miller? Oh, you know what? Who it is? More famous playwright. And they were standing, sitting here staring at Bill. I shouldn't, give, I shouldn't have said that. It's Which Shakespeare. <laughs> oh. Shakespeare's wife's name was Anne Hathaway. Oh, oh thank you. so you guys shouldn't get a point because I totally cheated on that. I didn't, I didn't, hear, did. I didn't hear anything. I didn't hear what you said. Okay. I didn't either. Sorry. I didn't hear anything. I didn't hear I heard, it. I heard it. <laughs> what did he say? Uh, Nothing. I didn't say anything. It's only recorded. I didn't, I didn't hear him. Yeah, well, uh, we can we can talk when he's not here. Uh, can you okay. get out of here, Mike? No, you if can't. We, if we win by a point, we'll we'll we'll, 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 we'll uh, worry. Yeah, that's a good idea. You'd have figured it out anyway. Somebody's got back him back looking right there at you there in that. Uh, I know. That's I you're looking you know, at us. You're looking when, at the floor. When I when I go around the rooms, I mostly mute, mute myself. Yeah, Mike. Just to avoid, because I, I, I can trust myself. I tell you, guys and dolls. Mm. Uh, in the let's see. Rock so over what's that? Was, uh, there was Frank Sinatra, Stubby K, Milton Berle, um, Marlon Brando. Milton Berle's not in the movie. What's anyway. Rock and Roll Over? Is that a play? It's a play in it's guys. A, it's it's an album. It's an album. Like, I'm, I'm like I don't know what planet I, I live on, and you guys live on some different planet. Who's saying the album? I have no idea who these people are. So, uh, does it have to be a real person or can it be a fic fictional character? I think it's a real person. Oh Who's, saying, Who's saying the album? They're all, they're all real people. Yeah, what okay. band? What band did rock and roll over? Oh. That I can't answer for you. Roll over Beethoven. No. I, I, don't, I have no idea. Okay. So the movie we still haven't gotten. Oh, Gene Simmons. Oh, it could be Gene Simmons because it's Kiss. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. And but the and the other one would be Gene J E A N, a woman, right? Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. I never would have gotten the Kiss thing. <laughs> Not my favorite band. Parks and Rec and a golfer. Hmm. Arnold Palmer. Is there an Arnold Palmer on Parks and Recs? I've never seen it. I don't know. I've never no, seen I remember. it. I, I've, seen the, I've seen the show, but it's a great show, but I can I can never remember any names. So. Since they're real people, would it be the name of the actor who's playing? Yeah, I think oh, that's it, has to be, it has to be the actor, yeah. Yeah, yeah like Amy okay, Poehler. So Amy Poehler. Amy Poehler, probably um, not a golfer. Oh, no, that's uh, the office. Chris, Chris Pratt. Mm -hmm. Chris um, Pratt. I wonder if that's a golfer. I don't remember that in the golf. Sense. I don't know golfers. The guy that was in Severance. 
Um, it could oh, also be, yeah. I, I, hang on, it could also be a fee, it could be a female golfer, too. Yeah. So. What's it could be. Name a female golfer. Yeah, exactly. Nobody knows female golfer names. I barely know any male golfers in the at and happening this weekend. What was her, her friend's name? The yeah. nurse. What was her, what was that? Peggy what sees was... the golfers every day. She just goes out her door and yells at them. Huh? <laughs> We're not that close, Susan. <laughs> what, what, what was the... Do you know any of these, Bill? Leslie's friend, the, the, the nurse, the lady with dark hair. Wait, 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 in, in, the, in Parks and Recreation? Parks and Rec. I can't think of the name. Her name doesn't stick out. That might be. Yeah. Do you do you mean Aubrey Plaza, the one who was in White Lotus? No, 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 no. In the, no. In the Susan, beginning you, of the. Am I allowed? Severance. Am I allowed to? In severance? Am I allowed to go He's over and ask someone on another wife. team? Oh, um, I don't think so. Because I, I can walk over to Avi because I think he watches that show. <laughs> I think it's ah. Mike, Mike Scott or... No, it's Scott. It's somebody Scott. Scott. It's not Mike. Jake. It's, so it's Scott. Who's the weather guy? Um, uh... I'm lucky I came up with Scott. Yeah, that was good. He was in Big Little Lies. He's from Santa Cruz. Oh, seriously? Yeah. Oh. Rick, it's not Rick. Adam. Adam. Yeah. There's an Adam. Adam. I think there is an Adam Scott uh, golfer. Yeah. Okay. Adam is there? Scott? That's the guy's Adam name. Scott. Oh, that was a good get, yeah, Adam Scott. Yeah, he yeah. was in that. Yeah. <clears throat> Adam Scott. So that he ended up marrying the Amy Poehler character. And if there's a golfer by that name, and it sounds, I think, like I think there is. I think there is. It's a very golfy white guy name. That's it, Adam. Anyway, <laughs> golfy. Yeah, Adam Scott. And the the girl, the women are Buffy and. Uh... Well, they're all dykes. Everybody knows that. That's right. <laughs> um. Okay. Number one, we have Craig Robinson. Number two, we have Albert Einstein. Number three is Michael Douglas. Number four is we don't have yet. Connor. Connor. Well, okay. Five is Anne Hathaway. Six is John Paul Jones. Seven is Jane Seymour. Eight is Steve McQueen. Nine is Gene Simmons. Ten is Adam Scott. We just need the boy band host of Temptation Island. Why aren't you guys watching shit TV? So we know who's the host of Temptation Island. <laughs> I'm busy. Did you hear what all the stuff I'm doing? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't have time to listen to Temptation Island. Well, I'm watching The Bachelorette. No. <laughs> yeah. Too busy watching other shit. Television. No, I'm too busy watching all the other stuff. Um, does anybody know anybody from NSYNC? Justin Timberlake. Is he? Yeah. That's it. Might have been in sync, and but don't trust me on this. But it was okay. Oh. Justin Timberlake had a another person. Because I went and after he died, I was like, what the hell? Who's this person? I read the Wikipedia page and then I went to the, the boy band's Wikipedia page. So, I mean, I read all that, but I guess it went right in and out. <laughs> I was like, oh, wow, what a horrible life these people have. You should plan ahead, Susan. I, I guess I should be psychic. Um, I don't. Okay, another boy band. Uh, I might not I'm be happy right. with um, The Jonas Brothers. I was thinking of them. Nick. Yeah, Nick Jonas. Nick Jonas. Nick Jonas. Oh, that that sounds like a host of a. It does, episode. doesn't it? Nick it Jonas. I like Nick Jonas. The I Jonas. Like, that like Jonas it. report. Okay. That Jonas Did you guys report. actually? Temptation Island. That's a brand new. But I think it could be brand. one of the other Jonas brothers. What were the other ones named? Oh God. No Jonas. Nick was the. One of them. about too. Wahlberg. What the Wahlberg kids? And oh. there wasn't the Wahlberg the one who died. I think you might be right onto that. Um, there's Mark Wahlberg, and and that sounds like a host name too, Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg. This is but Mark the Wahlbergs Wahlberg. were a boy band. Yeah, when they started. Oh. What what was it? Uh, I can't remember the name of the well, band. Boys to Men. Boys is it Boys to Men? Boys to Men or, to or yeah. Boys to Men, one of them. Yeah, it was. I think Boys was in their name. Yeah. 
Yeah, so, guys, are we okay with Wahlberg? Yeah, but what? what's the first name? Mark. Mr. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Mark. Mark, Mark Wahlberg. You think it's like Mark, Bill? I think it's Mark, yeah. Okay. I don't know the other Wahlberg boys, and they're not famous enough. Sounds good. Because Mark wasn't in the band. He was uh, Marky Mark, wasn't he? Okay. He was Marky Mark, but I thought he, he started in the Mark. band. But you may be right. Yeah, it could have been Donnie. Donnie, Donnie was in the band. Yeah, Donnie Wahlberg was in the band. He was definitely in the band. I'm closing Mark, the rooms. Okay. Mark was the brother. Yeah. Oh, okay. now that we have it. Two minutes. That's okay, it. so Craig Robinson, Albert Einstein, Mike or Michael Douglas, Mark Wahlberg, Anne Hathaway, John Paul Jones, Jane Seymour, Steve McQueen, Gene, spelled two ways, Simmons, Adam Scott. That sounds okay. good. Okay. But if we win by one, we we're damned to hell forever. Well, Thanks well, to well, Mike. It's, it's then it's a tie. I if we have to take him. a point, we tie, so we we don't lose. What did he I say? never heard it. I didn't hear anything about. Well, I didn't hear him say that. Much it. older playwright. I said oh, no. more famous. Not more famous, he said. But I didn't. I think he. Oh. Uh, you know, I, the whole incident. That's not really that much of a clue. Fuzzy. No, it isn't. No. It's not. No. Besides, we don't listen to you anyway, Mike. So that's what I know. Who's paying attention to Mike? <laughs> so wait, Bill, how do you? How are you enjoying the um, the game? Is you know, it weird? Where do we get our well? If I knew y'all better, it'd be more fun. But uh, well, you have I to come more often. If you time. come more often, you'll know. It does. Us it takes time. <laughs> yeah, you know what, Bill? I don't know. I started this thing, and I didn't. I don't think I knew any of these people. Well, I knew Robin. Yeah, we, almost all of us met in real life. Yeah, I <laughs> a lot of us. I, Almost everybody here has, well, we're on our third year, but almost everybody here, there's only like a handful of people who knew each other. A lot of the people, it feels like yeah. when you come in here, it feels like everybody knows each other. But some of these people who have been playing have only been playing four or five games. So it's, 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 but, not but it's nice show. when a lot of us have traveled around and happened to be in cities where someone yeah, lives yeah, and, we've we've gotten to get, and we've gotten together with people from, from this group. So yeah. well, we people never come way. to see New York, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, great job, uh, Robin and I used to belong to a group that was like that too, with, with people all over the world. Yeah. Show up more often, Bill, and you'll find that. We all just kind of know. Yeah, you guys, we don't know each other. Did anybody? Know Bill, that? yeah, Bill, hold that thought, and we'll talk about it when we go back for the uh, the the next the uh, bonus. Yeah, have fun. Okay. Okay. Who's who, Mike? That's all right. You ready for the answers? I am mm -hmm. amazed that the team I was on came up with answers because I wouldn't have had any. Okay. The we first thing I wish from everyone. Wait a second. All right. Hang on. I get up. Get out of here. Where is that? This is the one thing I was surprised more people didn't know because it's my favorite album cover of all time, possibly. I got, I got that one eventually. And no, uh, that's not that's not the right one. Are you screen and sharing? Share this. Do you think you're screen sharing? Because you're not. Hold on, I'm working on it. So there's. Oh, yeah. There. Oh my God! Yeah, they you have it. Oh. I All right. That one. Uh, I, so let's I go pull up. Let's pull up the my uh, really the, the answers to uh, number nine. Gene Simmons, right? Karen, uh, uh, Peggy knew it. I think it was Peggy. All right. Yes, so I'm let's. Sorry, team. I we got it. Known that. Um, share screen. Where is that? Okay, number one. Hold on, share. That's uh, Craig Robinson, and there he is with his brother-in-law, yes. Barack Obama. Craig Robinson. Good job, Num Kevin. Good guess. Number two, so Albert good. Einstein. I don't know yeah. if you're familiar with Super Dave Ob's Osborne, who is Albert Brooks' brother, oh, and whose real name is Bob Einstein. Number the next one, Michael Douglas. <laughs> oh, I should have got that. Uh, Not pictured. Michael Keaton's real name is Michael Douglas, and he was in that, uh, he was the vulture in Spider Man Homecoming. And you see the little asterisk. Mike Douglas's TV show had the little asterisk uh, as its logo uh, there. Oh, that's why you had that Spider Man. But, oh, oh, okay, cool. Douglas. There he is from the streets of San Francisco. And there, 
Or Mark Wahlberg. He was the brother of someone in uh, the he was Donnie Wahlberg's brother. He was first known as Marky Mark, and then he became an actor. And then there's the other Mark Wahlberg. Did we I'm have sorry, that in change? Garrett, it? I didn't think there would be more than one Mark Wahlberg. He's the host of the uh, the Antiques Roadshow. That first guy's body looks weird, deformed. He's got oh, he's got right. a third he's nipple. Road, he's got muscles. Stop and there he's is. Him. He's, he's got a third nipple. Anne Hathaway nipple. from Ocean's Eight and from uh, Mary Tyler oh. Beer. They were shot a picture. Oh, what an interesting earring. Hey, what's the next one? John Paul Jones, the base of Led Zeppelin and the Naval War hero. Good call. My wife got that one. Yeah, thank the next you. Next one. Jane Seymour. My wife got that Dr. Quinn, <laughs> medicine woman, and of course, married to Henry VIII. She's we were happy not, to have your wife on our team, Kevin. <laughs> there is Steve McQueen, the actor, <laughs> and the Yay! director of 12 Years Yay, a Slave. Hey, Jamie! Yeah, you got it. They're twins. And <laughs> Oh my God, I can't From the I aforementioned can rock and roll over <laughs> the rock band Kiss and Gene and then Gene Simmons who played uh, the nice lady from... Hey, those Dice aren't spelled dolls. the same. Those she was one count. of the dolls. <laughs> Not spelled uh, the same. And so finally... Adam Scott. Oh, oh Adam Scott. I don't, know. I don't know golf. I should have known that one. Damn it. He was world number one for a while. Your brother well, knew it. it. Is that is that all the is that all the answers? Yep. Yay! Very good category. And I'm sure you reckon the 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 two famous people from the opening screen was Michael Jordan and Michael B. Jordan. What about hmm. Michael Wolf? Hmm? What about the other Michael Wolf? <laughs> there is a uh, someone you sometimes see in the credits of TV shows who has that name. Is it you? He's got to play trivia with us some night. <laughs> All right. Groundhog said we get six more weeks of Santos. Seven. Jeez. You're not in the lead. No. Uh, Netflix scofflaws. One. No, we got more than that. We did, did we? we? No, I thought we only got one. Well, for sure we got two that I know of. What was the second? What were the two? What was the second one? Well, we got John Paul Jones and Jane Seymour for sure. You never oh, mentioned John it, Paul Jones. No, yeah, we didn't. Two? We, we got two. Jane we'll Seymour. Let him have the two. Punks okay. Tony Shill is George Santos' new drag name. We got three. Oh, All right. Jump. Never mind the trivia. Shouldn't we be helping Janine with her sink? We got 10. Um, wow. Wow. I, beat the curse of none. Uh, I was on that team. That's not my own uh, team. I didn't help, but I was on that team, so the curse is broken. You did <laughs> help. You helped a lot with the boy band thing. I helped a lot by not giving you any name, the correct name for the boy band. Okay. The Texas storm that can't be that bad because Cruz has not gone to Cancun. We had six. Whoa. Oh, wow. Look at you, people. Look at you, people. We have a new the leader. The problem is, is if you know actors well, and there's so many actors in a show, but you know nothing about golfers, you don't know which one. Wow. Matches. So that's where we. Wow, wow, wow. No, I'm not. I'm not. I mean, it was a great category. I just, there yeah, were some things yeah, I yeah, know nothing yeah. about, like golf. <laughs> so you know what? One that's how I feel. Every acting. sci fi, all right. these other time travel things you guys yeah, do. Yeah, exactly. They can all be sci fi categories, Susan. Not, not wanting to. Not wanting to blow my own horn, but I was as I was watching people, the fun thing about this category is people were figuring stuff out. It was like, yeah. well, we don't know any yeah. of these. And like, oh well, it could be oh yeah, and then this. And Gail, which yeah, board is watching wrong. people put and putting these things together and it was yeah, team uh, teamwork. When you have half of it, someone says that's a person's name too. Yeah. Yeah, it was a good score. Score. clear though. The average score. score was five point six. Which four did we get wrong? People Gail? were complaining on mine last week and nothing was that low. Um Gail. <laughs> I'm looking Gail, at I, I watched the whole recording, Gail. I'm looking at everything's so much more interesting. I'm looking it up. We miss Michael, Michael, we got Michael Douglas. Those are the ones we got. We missed on one, Nova, the first right. one, the yeah. second one. One, four, and nine. One, two, four, and nine. One, and the ninth one. We got Albert Brooks. 
Well, you? does Albert Brooks count or Albert, Albert Einstein? Brooks, right? or Einstein. I thought Albert Brooks was wrong. Um, I think you had to say I, I. I would have preferred you say Albert Einstein because okay. the physicist was not Albert Brooks. Yeah. All right. Albert Brooks that, is that All right. Six. Uh, Albert right. Einstein is a comedian. Are we all done? Are we right. all done? Canip, 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 sitting. Yep. I think so. All right. Good. Gail's up next. Yeah. Um, we're doing really well, unless Gail blows it by taking <laughs> a couple hours. We're we're doing really Wait, good on time. No pressure, Gail. We'll put the answers in the chat. We, we jumped like two places with that yeah, round, before. amazingly enough. Yeah. Okay. Are we ready for the last bonus round? Yeah. Here's what we're going to be doing. I purposely didn't change my background because I gave it away last time. I shouldn't do that, right? So oh, yeah. It has nothing to do with parliamentary. Uh, yay! <laughs> <laughs> in fact, what it is to do with, and I'm going to share my screen uh, so that you oh, can cool. see this. Okay. It's Posse. name it's the Posse. <laughs> yes. We haven't done it yet. Yes. Uh, I'm going to oh, give you need 10 Posse oh, shapes. God, I'm so bad at this. And Where I'm going to give you the link. And you have a choice. Oh. You can either give us the Italian name for that shape that people know wow. it by, or the literal English translation of that trap, that name. Okay. And I'm going to give you each one oh, with gosh. a picture of it dry and it's a written it's uncooked form and then a dish made with it if that helps you. So that's mm. number one. Number two. Damn. Number three. Number four, <laughs> number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, and number 10. And I'm giving you the link so that you can, uh, and on the, in the chat so that you can get that PowerPoint. Okay. Any questions? I get the possibilities. Oh, ah, yes. Very good. Very nice. <laughs> You're not helping. And it opens. Good job. You guys have learned so much. I'm so proud of you guys. When we started oh, doing it three here. years ago, I, but you didn't we all teach struggled. that. Look at, you look at you guys. That. You're screen sharing. You're doing all sorts of amazing things. But was it? Susan, look back at our work? early videos, and it was not this, not this. Okay. Susan, can you run a, a spreadsheet yet? Yes, of course. I run spreadsheets okay. all the time. Fix the yeah. totals. Morning, folks. Hello, teams. These are easy. Right? They're not, no. It's not a trick, is it? No, I don't know anything about pasta. I, I know number nine. Well, is it number one spaghetti? Yeah. No, no, because it was a two. It's hollow. It's hollow. Yeah. It's a hollow spaghetti. <laughs> that that not a thing. I suspect it has a different name. name. Yeah. Okay, so two. I don't know what two. Well, well, if nobody knows one, I'm guessing the Italian word translates to straw. <laughs> okay, straw. Why don't we, straw just, one possibility is just to. Brainstorm all the pasta varieties we know and then try and match them. Match it to something? Yeah, now there's I know there's something called ziti. There's ziti, cannelloni, vermicelli. I think nine is vermicelli. Nine okay, number nine, four no. is seashells. Right? Is it nine orzo? I thought it was orzo as well. Okay, I'll, no, I'll defer to you guys. That's four one of the Recognize. Yeah, I didn't see seashells. Which one? There four. is seashells. Yeah. Which That's one was seashells. it? And, and number, number four is lasagna. Is the little cartwheels. They're called cartwheels, aren't they? We've always called Wait. them cartwheels. Five. Oh, yeah. those are shells in four? Yeah, the little baby shells. Yeah. Oh, God, I don't think those are shells. Four? That's what I've always called them shell pasta. But yeah, they're baby shells. Um, at number five, we call we've always called them wagon wheels. I didn't know they had another name. 
<laughs> I'm sure that's what it says on the box, to yeah. be honest. And six, isn't that rigatoni? Rigatoni. No, that's not rigatoni. Not uh yeah, I think it is. Uh I don't know, seven. Eight is um yeah. Seven looks like a bug. <laughs> Caterpillars. <laughs> Okay, eight is um corkscrew. <laughs> That's what we always called it. Corkscrew totally pasta. Beans. It's twisty, twisty pasta. Well, I think I think it, on the package it says corkscrew. Okay, I like that. <laughs> Nine is rice, right? It's rice orzo. Hmm? Orzo. Orzo. Yeah. Orzo. And yeah. ten is bow tie. Yeah. Bow tie or farfalle. And number three is lasagna. Oh, that's lasagna. Girl. It looks the first it's, it's just not done that. traditional lasagna, but those are lasagna noodles, the ones that are yeah, it's a top picture. If it, oh. you can't really see the that they're yeah. really wide apart. It looks yeah. I don't think it's really lasagna. You don't think so? Okay. I think there's a, I think there's another name for that shape and size, and we just don't know it. Well, that's what it says on the box I buy. But yeah. <laughs> Tire tracks? Because lasagnas are like this wide. Well, right. yeah. Those are pretty wide. Right? But those, those look like they're wide. maybe half the width. You think? Right. I think it's just the perspective. It's yeah, like I think it's so perspective. Because I don't what, know. what do we have answers for so far? All of them. What? No, yes. we've got number they're one. Not, they no. may not be correct with first one straw. <laughs> By the way, who's keeping track since Gail is not? <laughs> <laughs> we need well, Gail. I'm just a guest here. I have no idea. Yeah, you have to take over paper. Gail's duties, uh, Susan. Yeah. Huh? You have to take over Gail's duties. Oh, oh sorry. Carl's got a paper and pencil. I'm watching him do it. So He's what do we, what do we put for number one? Toe. Number one is straw pasta. And number two, two. is... What did you call that? Is uh, no egg noodle that. pasta. Oh, maybe. That could be. I egg don't think so, because egg noodle looks different, but I do. That's, yeah. That's like a crinkle egg noodle pasta. Yeah, crinkle egg noodle. Okay, that's crinkle egg noodle pasta. <laughs> Three is lasagna. There's surely a name for it, and we just don't know it. Four is little seashells. Five is wagon wheels. <laughs> Six is rigatoni. Yeah, that's what we said. Seven is caterpillar. <laughs> Dried out caterpillar pasta. Eight is <laughs> Twisty pasta. Corkscrew. Oh, so pasta. I, there are two there are two pastas I'm thinking of that are not in our list. Tortellini and rotini. But those are hollow big. Definitely. Because yeah. Tortellinis oh, are those big ones they're like that. Something called ziti. They're about that oh, big. tortellini is the stuff that has the the like cheese and stuff folded into it. Yeah. yeah and the other one, the, the cannelloni, is one. the tubes. And number it's nine, you have ziti. Corn, and ten is bow tie. So so I don't know if there's official names for these other than what I just said. Is ZD is a fat I... tube cut on an angle. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, that's that's ZD. Yeah. And, and rigatoni, I mean, uh, um, what was the one you guys said a minute ago? Cannelloni has is a, tube. a big tubes. Yeah. Ro rotini. Same with manicotta, manic. There's a, there's a bigger tube, which is, I think, manic something so, i could go for some pasta, you know? those of you who know about do they are they all made of the same thing and just different shapes unless it's an egg noodle mostly yeah. so what why yeah. why so many different shapes of the same tasting flour <laughs> it catches it depends what, what you're serving it with yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah different yeah. kinds of sauces or different things and it takes longer to cook like the bow ties take longer to cook than it would some the seashells because and the, the, the seashells and the bow tie ones are really kind of i think aimed at families with kids i mean i know that my uh, that's my feeling for it because my mom <laughs> always made it for us and i always made it for my kids to try and get them to eat it they've got big <laughs> seashells and baby seashells There's two different sizes. if you were given all these pastas in a blind test without any sauces you couldn't tell the difference they all taste the same well they know they'd have different chewiness as well yeah because you of the have texture difference texture difference yeah sure. oh okay but it's a blind taste test things. for you. I like all the different shapes. I'm going to do a smorgasbord. If you were given those pastas pasta and they were all up. put, each one was put in a separate blender, you might not be able to tell the difference. <laughs> Ew. 
But that really, the number two is really weird. I've never you seen You know what that. I can't stand is angel hair pasta. I just can't stand it. I, it doesn't have enough pasta yeah, ness to it. I like hair. only. It, it has to be hair. really like, al dente. It, I like the thinnest hair, the angel hair. I like that. That's the oh. only pasta I eat. Mm. Well, you're not a pasta eater then, huh? You don't really no, like pasta. No, I'm not. I, don't listen to me for ad, advice on I, pasta. I like spaghetti. I can say one thing. If you go to Italy and have their pasta, it's amazing. Yeah. It's so good. good. Okay, folks, we are. I, I have to leave now, so I'm sorry I won't be there for the final Aww. triumphant nice to see you, man. Uh, victory over. Yeah, it's good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> and uh, but thanks, it was fun. I'll see you. Bye. How many do we have answers for? Well, we have answers for all of them, but they're not. <laughs> they're not right. one, of them, <laughs> one of them's caterpillar. <laughs> Cashbean, are you going to come over on Sunday to go to the thing I sent you guys? What thing? I sent you a, a event that we're going to go over to the Steinbeck Center and then we're going to go have um, go to Chinese food. Oh. Uh, I sent it to you. What did you send it to me to, via? Messenger. Oh, that's probably why I didn't see it. Well, you're, well I went, it's a Facebook link. I'm inviting people. We're all going to go. We're, we all. Oh, I should probably put that in and find it. So we did settle for lasagna for three, right? Yeah. Okay. I mean, what else are we going to put? Yeah. I even uh, think for number one, we should probably put spaghetti just because I don't, I could be straw, I guess. Spaghetti? Who knows? Not spaghetti, though. <laughs> not, re not regular spaghetti, that's for sure. But the dish certainly looks like spaghetti. Yeah. <laughs> I told you it's straw spaghetti. Steinbeck, yeah, there you go. Selena Steinbeck Hangout. That's what it's called. <laughs> I see. It's pretty funny. <laughs> All right. Good job, team. Sorry that you lost your top score and you're going to finish. In the it's okay. Middle. Social first. Right in the middle. Yeah. Absolutely. Sorry about that. <laughs> well, now I'm hungry. No. <laughs> <laughs> How about some macaroni, everybody? Yeah. If you're, you're hungry, you don't know what it's called to order it. Well, this is a little unusual because usually the uh, our um, our our final round, our bonus rounds have been gimmies, and this isn't necessarily a gimme. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like that we're we've kind of kicked it up a little bit. We had a couple unusual categories sort of tonight, so that's good. Shows how creative you guys are, and I'm not. Wait, so before we get to the answers. <sighs> Nobody's going anywhere. Next week, I have Peggy. I have Rob. That's all I got. If I do one, I'm going to make it easy. Well, no, you just do one this week. <laughs> I'll do one. I, I can do a bonus. I got, one from got a, it. I got a bonus just, from a couple weeks ago I didn't do. Take a week to bask in your glory, Vincent. Robin, okay, <laughs> Peggy, Robin, Rob. I got a bonus if you want. Okay, let's see if anybody else comes up with one. I need a category. Okay, Kevin, you got bonus. I need a I need a category. Somebody's talking and not and they're muted. Yeah, somebody unmute. Robin, did, did you get Robin? Yeah. Yeah, she got me. Okay, I volunteer. You're muted. The person who's trying to volunteer, you're muted. <laughs> yeah, you got it wrong anyway. Oh, is that Peggy? Oh, the Peggy box is lighting up. I'm already on. Okay, let's do your pasta, and then I'll I'll figure out who I'm gonna pick. <laughs> okay, we're we ready for the answers. Yeah. No. Okay. Mm. Um, I, I, you never know what's going to be easy. I did not think this was going to be as hard as it was. <laughs> okay. Number one, oh, called okay. Bucatini, which translates to little hole. Hey. Either one is a fine answer. Number two. I, I'm Italian American Bell. and I have oh, never, oh, never oh, seen or heard of that pasta, interestingly. Mm. This one 
I thought was the hard one. It's Malfalda, yeah. and it was named for a princess of Savoy. Oh. Mm. Was she also known as Princess Ribbon? <laughs> Just a random Anya. asking, no, no particular friends. point. Some of the, <laughs> the translations, I think, are less likely to be right. And many people were talking about um, why we have, why there are so many shapes, and it does have to do with the sauce, and it has mm -hmm. to do with the texture. Americans tend to not worry as much about the texture of the food, and these all have very different textures when they're cooked. Number four is not shell. If you look at it carefully, shells have a shell shape. These are called orichetti. They're little ears. Oh. Yep. Oh. Hmm. Orichetti. Okay. Rotelli they look so much more like wheels. ears. Some of you said wagon wheels. That's fine. Yep. It's awesome. Yay, called wagon wheels. We got a point. Okay. How, about, how about pinwheel? Not a pinwheel. Pinwheels are round. These are wagon wheels. Wagon wheels. <laughs> This is Cavitati. You'll find this oh, in restaurant. We were close. Cavitati, right? Oh, I got So Cavitati okay. or corkscrew. This one I know you both mm -hmm. didn't get because this one is brand new. It's called Cascatelli, which Cascatelli. stands for waterfall. Yeah. Yeah. And I'd like to find out the fascinating story about Cascatelli. Mm -hmm. uh, it was created yeah, well, by Dan Poshman, who does the, pod, right. the podcast yeah, about yeah. food, not Kevin, for gourmet, yourself, please. but for people who eat. And he created this, and he did a series of podcasts talking about how hard it is to create a new prospect. Absolutely <laughs> fascinating story. And now yeah. it's not only been a success, and if you listen to those podcasts from last year, they're absolutely fascinating, I think. But mm. the end of the podcast was he created this thing and it's gotten great reviews and it has now become mainstream. And mm. Gail, what is it um, what is it good for texture wise or or sauce wise? It it's des it's designed to be firmer than most macaronis because if you look at the shape, it's very intentionally made to have a very strong mouthfeel. So you cook it longer than most other pastas and it's still very much to the bite. So it can take a very difficult, heavy sauce and still hold its, hold its shape. Okay. Yeah. How about, uh, would dry caterpillar be all right? <laughs> That's what I think. It looks very much like, it looks yeah, like- Yeah, we did a whole podcast trying to figure out what to call it because it was originally supposed to be a long pasta. No, it's people, a, it's macaroni, a which are small and long pastas, mm -hmm. which are long. And it was originally supposed to be long, but he couldn't, they couldn't create it so that those shrilly parts would stay on on the long pasta. So he had to make it short and round like that. And then he couldn't figure out what to call it. So there's a whole podcast where people disguise well, it. Like it's, 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 a a so well. it's a bassotini because it's a ba bass clef. It's a... <laughs> <All right. laughs> right. That might have been a better name. He didn't, he didn't. Mm. That one. Okay, number eight is Jamelli. Oh, Jamelli. Which stands for twins, and I don't know why they call it twins unless it's because two things are twisted together. Mm -hmm. it? Yeah, it's, 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 yeah, it's, it it's a double helix. That makes well, sense. And I think most of you got the orzo, and orzo is not rice. It looks it's like rice. Other point. They say it looks like barley. And, and Gemini, yeah, the twins, right? Orzo. It actually is a pasta made in a shape like yeah. that. Well, the gamellus is Latin for twin. And finally, farfalle. Oh, and farfalle, actually, we always called it a bow ties. And I'll give yeah. you credit for bow ties because that's what most Americans call it. But farfalle actually translates butterfly. Did you ever call it, uh, did you ever have kasha and varnishkas? Of course, oh, of course. Always I did. So, so this is the varnish kid. This is the varnish kid, I think. Yeah. Yes. That's why I'm uh, saying bow ties count because we've always called it that. But it's ties. officially, legally, proper name. Legally. And that translates to the US title 17, butterfly. chapter 33. <laughs> 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 USC 107. Blah, yeah. blah, blah. <laughs> that was a lot harder than I thought, Gail. It was a lot harder than pasta I thought. Pasta could be so hard. Today. Yeah, who would have thought all that pasta would have been? Well, if you don't cook it, it's a good category, Gil. Yeah, it'd be I very hard. The, I love and that crunchy. we had such a broad 
broad mix of stuff. And I was a little worried that because uh, uh, today is Groundhog's Day that we would have more and more category in Groundhogs. And I think Troy probably was a little worried too, huh? Somebody else might come up with Groundhog Day. Well, it actually was a little groundhogish because we did have a pasta category once, which <laughs> I don't think any of these pastas were actually on that uh, that um, I remember trivia game. Or a Chieti was on that one. Okay, so maybe we had one or two. So that, there, yeah. there, there's your groundhog, though. Okay, <laughs> very good. And yeah. once again, proving that it doesn't matter that we've had the category before. Because of course. We don't yeah, we don't <laughs> not only do we not remember, we didn't study. Okay, so before <laughs> I go to scores, I'm just looking to see, did I did I hear somebody say they wanted to do a category? Was it Caspian? No? James? Did yeah, I hear Jane? I can't do it this week. I'm sorry. But you'll go though next week? I might if I okay. can't. I'll see how it goes. Okay, I'll put I'll put Jane question mark. Maybe. I'll do one in two weeks. So yeah. not so the sixteenth. I'll do one in two weeks. Yeah. Is that the sixteenth? I have a second Tuesday meeting. No, well, second, I can second Thursday. I can, I can do, do one next week if week. someone wants to take the bonus from me. If I can do a regular bonus, round next week. Even though I did okay, it, this yeah, week, uh, I Carl's got ready. it. Carl's got it. We're full. Peggy, Rob, Robin, Carl, and Kevin. And then the following week, we've got Karen and possibly Jane. And we'll fill it up. You guys will be fine. Otherwise, they just assign you and you just have to do it. Because <laughs> that'd be really <laughs> embarrassing. And you'll call my boss, right? I just did one. Yeah. No, I, I know. I didn't put you down for one next week. Okay. Well, Peggy, Rob, Robin, Carl, and Kevin. Yeah, you're off, Mike. You you got one. Okay. So let's do. Let's do the scores again. Let's do the score. You guys are no fun. Okay. <laughs> well, we have a new leader so far. Let's see if it holds up. But the uh the second place ish thing mm. is real tight. So let's see what happens. Netflix scoff laws. We got two. Right. You are tied for second place. Okay. Punksatani Shill is George Santos's new drag name. Got seven, so we're no Ooh, longer not yeah. last place. Ooh. Wow. Not you get the place. threes. All right. <laughs> So that makes the Netflix scoff laws look pretty bad, right? Groundhog said we'll get six more weeks of Santos. Four. And Ooh. we have separation between you three. Not okay. next to last place either. There we go. The team that Gail's team, the team that actually was Gail's team. Did she tank it? Let's find out. The Texas storm can't be that bad because Cruz has not gone to Cancun. Three. <laughs> oh, <hey. laughs> well oh well oh well Sarah. the tide has turned minus <laughs> one never mind yeah, the we... should we be helping janine with her sink zero oh, oh no, no. You had to be wait no 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 wait, no. Wait. that was not funny we got four, four. we got we... four Alan, you're on the winning <laughs> team <laughs> thank you thank you Alan. Thank you. yay Alan. Yay, yay, Alan. Alan. Four. we need to play the italian we'll heritage last Alan. place be, and you know why now. you know why they won you know why they won because He'll they had be bill on the team bill, nice. yeah. Yeah. it was it was bill yeah, it's all Bill. He's and the fact that you guys were praying for Janine, you guys thought of Janine. Yeah, right. You named your I, team after I Janine. was rooting for them the whole time. Oh, yeah. Oh, the whole run is they were first career and fat. Janine, <laughs> you, you, you wouldn't have if they'd gone with my title. So. Oh, yeah. Well, well that's if you notice, I had notice fun, folks. they're the, the winning and losing team are in the same house. So, oh, <laughs> a house divided. Alan, house. did you win? Yes. Congratulations. Alan, won. Wow. So, that was Alan, Bill, Bob, Peggy, Terry, Mike, and Robin. Good job, team. I even had an answer or two in the, uh, in these <laughs> things. So. 
where they found Alan. A little variety. <laughs> the key was that somehow my category didn't kill the team. Like <laughs> it always happens. Yeah, well, you did a good job. Everybody did a really good job. Thank so you. Happy Trey, we were in last. It looked questions. like we were going to be for a while. Wound up, I think, third place. And yeah. Avi, you're, Avi's still awake. I'm, I'm, I'm amazed. Oh, he's sort of. Well, sort of. <laughs> I'm barely awake, and I'm on the West Coast. Oh, come on. Yeah, I've, got, I've got like too. three more hours to go. Hey, um, Kyle was coming up with this survey. I hope you guys do the survey. Done. I did a bunch of them. Did it. Thank you very much. Oh, I can't do it. Get it. It's, I got to wait till I get past. Oh, I pushed the skip well, it. Well, they need more uh... women to respond. So. Yes, indeed. Can I guys? These Kyle. answers aren't going to be as nefarious purposes, are they, they Kyle? Me. Every time take I take it, it gets so weird. Every time I take the survey, I get sorted into a different house. Kyle, should I skip? And You can now. I just added a skip option at the top. So, Kyle. skip. Questions. The, oh, at the top. Bye, uh, everybody. Good night. Bye. Good night, Abby. Oh, good. All right. Good, good night, night everybody. Do your surveys. That'll be fun. We'll see. Hopefully, we'll see Bill back again. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye. And the video is going on our YouTube channel. You guys should be watching it there and recommending <laughs> it to all your favorite Netflix people who are executives that will make a show out of this. Yeah. I'm, I'm telling you, I the world I should be watching advertising. This. They should be all over us. Yeah. Clamoring oh, Kyle. Kyle.